Welcome, folks. We are here on the field today in Goffstown as Goffstown's going to be having their last regular season game today, again, in Goffstown. And there's some big implications for this game. Scott, why don't you? Well, Goffstown comes in 4-0, and and Memorial's coming in at 3-1. and So conceivably, if Memorial beats Goffstown today, both teams would be 4-1, and and that really would put a wrinkle into uh, the playoff picture for Goffstown because it would be head-to-head. -head. So if uh, Memorial would beat were to beat Goffstown, conceivably Memorial would have the leg up in terms of any type of seedings. Yes, and those playoff, the playoff picture will come out tonight after the results of this game come out. So and no one knows. I mean, nobody knows. Nobody knows this could be like pulled out of a hat. Exactly. It's uh, really kind of crazy. So we'll find out right after the game, which is about to start right now. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Goffstown High School for a Division I football matchup between the Memorial Crusaders and your Goffstown Grizzlies. My name is Scott Gross, and I'm joined today by Broden McCune. Good afternoon, Broden. Good afternoon, Scott. So it's a little, little overcast today. We could see some showers. Could, could uh, change the uh, plot line of the game, I guess, and we could see some offensive scheme changes and stuff like that, and I think... That would definitely be interesting football to watch, Scott. Yeah, so a cloudy, overcast day here at Goffstown High School. And the interesting uh, matchup here is we have two teams that are really vying for potentially a, a number one seed. And I say that in the sense that Goffstown's coming in at 4-0, and Memorial at 3-1. and If Memorial can defeat Goffstown today and then to that with that head-to-head -head matchup, Memorial would technically be the, the, the top seed in the North. Yeah, they'd have that tiebreaker, Scott, and we talked a little bit about that in our pregame segment as we see the captains come together at the middle of the field. We've got uh, J.J. Uh, Josephic and Jarrett Hanault, uh, both quarterbacks for the teams. So the stories, there's a lot of stories of this season. Obviously, COVID has interrupted it, but Memorial Crusaders are one of the stories of Division One football this year. A team that has had a lot of hard luck yeah. over like the last many, many seasons coming in at 3-1, and one, and that's great news for this program. Yeah. I don't think that – I think their 3-0 uh, their and o start, Scott, was like the, the largest in their program history. Yeah, I so believe. just so. congratulations to the Crusaders and their and their staff. Uh, Goffstown really uh, has had a successful program probably at the last decade, and uh, they're coming in at 4-0 yeah, with a new, co new coach. New coach. Uh, Nick so Hammond. See some shift of power here for uh, for Goffstown, and uh, honestly, Hammond has done incredible. Yeah, you couldn't ask for better. Undefeated up until this point, we will see how that ends up today. Um, but he's undefeated up until this point, and four and zero. And this this team is rolling, Scott. This team does not want to stop. They play they play high tempo offense. They go into that no huddle. They run they run out of that, and they run. Pass, their run pass option and their option plays are near unstoppable up until this point. So kicking for Goffstown is going to be number two, Ryan Cody. And uh, unfortunately, their, their normal kicker is out today. So that'll, that'll be something different. We've said it every game this year, Scott. Special teams has been the question mark of Goffstown. So. Yeah, so don't look for the ball to be kicked uh, as deep. But let's see if they can cover it well. And we're off, folks. Nice kick. Nice kick by Cody. Incredible yeah. job. And that one's going to go down by the 10-yard line. To number four. And Hanault. What a great tackle. An incredible textbook tackle by Jeremy Hanault. Really great play on his part there. And he has been a standout on special teams this year, Scott. I would agree. Well, standout on special teams, but also a standout on defense. He's just... He's one of the few guys, I think, on this team that I have seen who just has, like, the nose for the football. Yeah, he knows. And he just, he always seems like he's one second ahead of everybody else. He's got the nose for the football, and he knows what he's doing, Scott. He's, he, he has a really good football mind, and he knows where to go with it. So J.J. Josephic will uh, be in the shotgun for got, the Crusaders. He's got number 21. That's Kai Colson to now his right. And he's going to hand Quick off hand to Colson. Off. Nice and he block. gets around that corner But it's going to well. be a hold, I think. Yeah. Automatic flag on the play. So 
so I, I've watched a little bit of Colson's game, and he's got some really good turn the corner speed, as as they'd like to call it. He can get to the outside and break one really quickly, and uh, I think that's the strength that you've got to look for Goff Sound to stop here today, Scott. So that was a holding flag or penalty on the Crusaders, and they'll bring it back 10 yards. Yeah, and we talked about it a little bit before the game, Scott. I think this game will be a battle of the trenches. We've got two really good offensive and defensive line units for either team coming out today, and they're going to play each other hard and physical, and that's, I think, where the game will be won. Yeah. So the ball's now going to be on the 18, and it's going to be a first and 20 for Memorial. So let's see how they can come out in this set. And they've, they now set out Colson wide. Yes, they got trips to the top of your screen. Man in motion. That's going to be a fake jet sweep. Over the, and over middle. the middle to the tight end. That's Great number, catch. That's, that's a first down. That's number 88, Basil High, Scott. And we, we got a note on him from the coaches that he's going to get the ball a lot on defense. But looks like that's a nice little run, pa run pass option yes, there I would from agree. Memorial. Yep. And just right right over the top for uh, Basil High. And this, this Memorial this memorial sideline is hyped, Scott. Yes, I would agree. So they get that first and 21 right back, and now it's first down on the 40 for you, Memorial. You better tackle Basil High yeah. low yes. because uh, he's going to run right over you. Yeah. That's a scary man to see in the open field, Scott. I would agree. Now we have trips to the bottom part of your screen. It's going to be another pass play, and that's to no one. That, um, I'd say that's intentional grounding, Scott. He was still well, in the pocket. Well, I don't, there wasn't the any. Are, they're talking. I don't think that. No, I don't, I, I'm not sure about that one. He well, was still in the pocket. There was really nobody in the area. It was there. really weird. On Let's that. take a look here. Yeah. And there was no there, one. There was nobody around. And it was it was strange. Yeah. Because number 11, Will Clark, he was like pushing. Like it was almost like he thought it was a run play. Yeah. And there was a screen. There was a. I'm pretty sure that was a design screen covered very well by Jarrett Hanault on the other side of the field. All right. So. We've got J.J. in the shotgun. It's a hand up up the middle. A lot of room to run. Now Colson he makes a way. move, and he could take this one. He could one. go all the way to the house. Caden Perry chasing him down, and, and he he's going to get him at the tripped up. Line. Great play by Caden Perry to chase him down, but you gotta be you got to be weary of Colson here. He's got the speed to yeah, make the move. Yeah, that was about moves. a 35-40 yard run by Colson. Really high energy already for Memorial, and this is probably why they have the best record of the program history yeah. right now, Scott. There was a big hole there, and that's what we talked about. You know, pregame was the the, the 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 size of this Memorial offensive line, and they have a massive hole. This will be a first and 10 at the 12-yard line. So we're going to see a different back come in here for Memorial, and he's going to get it in another that's great hole. And he gets... Stopped at the yeah, five. His progress is stopped. That should be that should be a an unnecessary roughness there, Scott. As players tried to jump on that pile after the, well, the a, whistle the flag was blown. come out or no? That should no. be. No, it's not a flag. It's, it's just it's where the ball is spotted. If that keeps happening, Scott, I believe that should be a flag as you've got you've got these big players like Basil High coming in and jumping on that pile. That's a risk that's a risk for an injury there. All right, we got a second and three, folks. From the five and memorial, all memorial here. And if Goffston doesn't, they got to get their act together on defense, especially that line. They're getting pushed around pretty good. We're going to see the fake jet sweep and the quarterback keeper here. He doesn't get, he doesn't get it. So Scott, we were talking a little bit about this quarterback JJ Josephic before the game. It's not the not the largest quarterback well, out there. About He's, 170 pounds uh, again compared to Hanal. You're correct. Yeah. But so if you're Goffstown, you want to make sure if you see these quarterback keepers and stuff like this, you want to get a good hit on him because. If you can, if you can, uh, can shift the momentum a little bit by, by taking the quarterback on these keepers out, then I think that could be a big problem for Memorial. So in comes uh, Calabro. He's a running back for Memorial, and uh, the play is coming in also from the sideline. Yeah. So, so this could this is also another di uh, difference here for Goffstown is Memorial's plays come in from the sidelines, and they have to stop the momentum that okay. they've already so got going. It's a first and goal. So first and goal for the Crusaders on the three-yard line. Signal was called out there by Josephic, and he hands the ball He's off. He's got in there. He's in there for a touchdown. So unfortunately, it looks like Cooper Flanagan was there for Goffstown, but he couldn't stop the uh, the runner there, and that's just going to be a quick six points. And I didn't pick up who was the running back on that. I think that was number third, 
30. Eric that Seymour? Eric no. Seymour. Okay. And we've got Clark coming out for the Crusaders as kicker and Josephic, the holder. So that's all the offensive line. Great drive by the Crusaders in this first quarter. So and that's clearly going to yeah. be a good extra point. So That one's back into the woods. So Memorial, they had their way with Goffstown. As a matter of fact, Goffstown didn't have any stops on that, on that, no. in that entire um, set. Yeah. Seymour, Eric Seymour, um, is a freshman, and he just got that touchdown for Memorial. So that's a big play, uh, hopefully in a good career for Seymour as he's already off to a pretty good start as a freshman. So the defense is definitely has to regroup here because there was just way too many big holes. And we're yeah. not even talking about, you know, a guy hit, you know, hitting a, a seam. I'm talking about holes. Yeah. And now you've just, the momentum is definitely in the Crusaders' Yeah, this, this Crusaders here. team is loud on this sideline yep. right now. You may even be hearing it a little bit on our broadcast. They are amped up, Scott. They knew what they were coming here to do. And again, you know, this game, you know, very possibly has playoff implications. It's, it's either, you know, you, you might potentially be playing a Bedford or you could be potential. I'm not sure who won that play-in game. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow, but it's Central versus Concord. Yeah. But that's a big difference uh, there. So this... This kickoff formation is really condensed. So if, you, if you're Goffs down here, what you want to see on special teams That's is a, get it to the outside. Let it go out. Let, let it go, go out. out. Let, let it go, it go out. out. Well, I, yeah. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Scott, did you just yeah. see that? Yeah. He did just you bounced just see right that? off of him. He bounced right off of him. Let's see, uh, uh, let's see if we can get a replay bounced on that right one, off folks. Picard. Wow. Incredible play. I think Picard made the right decision on this one, honestly, because it was straddling that line. Oh, my goodness, Yeah, he's Scott. like, get off me. Come on. So, Goffstown will take over about the 38-yard line, and I think you're going to see the, it'll be the battle of the trenches here because we know yeah. that it's Hanault and Picard are the running um, option for the Grizzlies, but can Memorial's defensive line get a stop? Yeah, Scott, that's going to be really big today. Jarrett's going to take the snap with Perry in motion, and he's going to keep it himself. And he almost broke that tackle, Scott. Yeah, so he kind of hurtled the Memorial defender. I think that was um, Josevic. He, he made the tackle, but he hurtled over number seven. That would be Jacob Calabro. Yeah, so both quarterbacks do play either side of the ball here, Scott. So that was a pickup of six yards for Hanault. Josevic is playing that, that deep safety position, and Jarrett likes to play what we call the roamer here in Goffstown. So... Let's see what they can do out of the shotgun here. Uh, quick PA tunnel screen there. Yeah, but he couldn't catch and it. Perry couldn't catch it. Play action there, trying to throw off, get, get that line to push a little bit more. And it was just on the receiver there as we're going to see a third, third and, and four. four for Goffstown. And this is a, this is a big momentum play here for yeah. Goffstown. This, this could determine the the end the ending of the game early you're going to see a different hand signal come in here so they just changed the play up clearly they cl ch changed the play they don't they steer something on defense and he's going to pop way, out to the outside he's going to pick up a outside. first down at the 50 yard line really great play on zach picard's part there he tr they were trying to pull the guard in the tackle and and get him to follow them but he saw a lane to the outside and just an incredible play yep. here to bounce off of his tackle and get to the outside from Scott uh, from uh, ugh, Picard. Nope, nope, it's, it's Hanault. And Hanault. He uh, tripped. He quick. slipped. Picks up four. Yeah, it's Scott, we talked about this earlier, the tempo of golf sound and getting to the line quick and these hand signals come in quick. I think this could really, really determine who keeps up their momentum today as Goffstown just is relentless on offense, Scott. So you got Jonah Lopez, and I think he's the, your breakaway guy in terms of speed. We've also got Jeremy Hanault, who hasn't seen much action on the offensive side of the ball this year. There's a pass play. Good blocking. Really, really great, great pass protection he's gonna get from sacked. Zach Picard, but he's going to get sacked. Oh, right to the – that should That's, be a penalty. That should be a targeting. That should be a penalty, and they didn't call it. That is 100% leading right, with the shoulder, Scott. He went Scott. right to his helmet. So I'd love to see that one again, as that, should be, right that should be a targeting call. That is unbelievable. His, his, uh, his. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad call. His, uh, 
his progress was most definitely stopped, and well, you, there was you a just targeting can't, there. You can, you can hit him, but you just can't hit him at the helmet. That's yeah. the difference. So, pass play for Goffstown. Screen. Screen this time caught by Caden Perry, but they're going to say that one was actually incomplete, which is a lot better for Goffstown. So that's a fourth down now for the Grizzlies. They're going to have to punt, and uh, you got to give credit to the Memorial Crusaders. They've come in with intensity. Yeah, this this Memorial team is is trying to get the momentum shifted in their favor, and that's exactly what they've done so far, Scott. Well, they've definitely done that. So, so Picard will be punting back for Memorial is number three, I think, or four. Yeah, that's Christian Sebo. Christian Sebo. And he had a good return on that initial kickoff. Nice kick, kick, though. And he and fumbles. It's fumbled. Scooped up, though, and Sebo's going to go down at the, the like, 10-yard line. And that Scott. was, uh, I think it was Flan Flanagan. Was Flanagan was there. So uh, we got a trivia question here. Oh. Trivia, trivia, trivia. trivia Our first time, trivia folks. question of the game. So here we go, folks. Who scored the first goal of the season for the Goffstown High School field hockey team this year? Leave your answer in the YouTube chat, and uh, we'll, we'll see. We, we've got somebody monitoring that, and we'll, we'll know when there is an answer right. to that. So. so who scored the first goal of the season for the Goffstown High School field hockey team this year? So this is a really, really big um, drive for yeah. both teams. So We're less than halfway through the first quarter, yeah. and this is a massive drive for either team. Yeah, so Goffstown needs to have some uh, little show on defense here. Josevic is going to pass. He telegraphed that one, and he didn't even put it in the right spot, Scott. So he's almost lucky in a way. So Yeah, uh, he's lucky that... All, all credit to Jarrett Hanalt here, but yeah. Jarrett is not the fastest player on the field. True. If there was someone like Caden Perry would, there right. to get to the speed to the outside, that would have been a pick six, Scott. Well, the surprising thing for me is why are you going away from the run, which you've picked up like 70 yards well, running the ball? I'll tell you why, Scott. Kai Colson is on the sideline right now for Memorial, so he's getting looked at, and he was the big player there of that last drive okay, who I'll, broke off I'll, a 40-yard run. That. Now what do we got? Got a timeout, timeout by Memorial. Okay. Looks like I also saw Basil High just come off, um, who was huge in that run pass option right. uh, over the middle there for Memorial. Yeah. So, so they definitely had the Grizzlies on that first drive. They had them on their heels. And this is just going to be very, very big for Goffstown just to turn this around. Do I, I have no doubt that Goffstown's offense uh, will at some point get on a roll. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's the, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, they did not. They looked flat in that first drive. Yeah, Scott. We've seen seen some key players like Nate Belanger and George Pierce be able to run stuff and stop the run right. from those nose tackle positions, and that's where the holes were created at the uh, on that first drive. So if we can see those those key players come out in this drive, which uh, it's it's possible that they do, we just got to see when they when they can show out here. So big 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 things here for Goffstown to look for. So we're going to see a little, I think a little bit of a different set as like two or three players have already come out for Memorial. Um, and they're sitting on the sideline for this play. But look how big their offensive line yeah, is. Yeah, their I offensive mean, line is Number a big 72, um, Ajumana. Uh, he's 260. Got, these guys are like 260, 270. So... All right, so we got second down and 10 from about the 13, 14 yard line for the Crusaders and another pass play over the middle. That should be intercepted, intercepted. and it is. Caden Perry can make a move he and he's gonna it. go. He fumbled it. He fumbled it. I think we're good, Scott. That's gonna be a turnover for Goffstown and they're gonna capitalize there. I told you last play, if you've got somebody with the speed to get out to that pass, Caden As you Perry can see does here, it. though, on the replay, he gets it, but then he coughs it up, and then luckily, a Goffstown Jared Grizzly Hanalt. is Jared right Hanalt on Jared was right there. He's got great awareness. So we did actually get a, uh, an answer for that last trivia question, and we'll see that answer come up on the screen when we get a chance here. But we're going to see Goffstown's offense come out quick here. Really? I mean, we said it about defense. We said that front, but the secondary came out. So... So Grace, Grace Taylor, Taylor is your answer. 
And we got a first and goal at the nine. Handoff, Handoff to Zach two, Picard. But he gets gobbled up quickly. So Scott, something there that I just saw was that line. There was there were some pulling guards and all that extracurriculars there on the line. As we're going to see the uh, the trivia here. I believe we've got a clip for this trivia. We do. Um, here is the first goal. But we want to we want to we season. want to uh, see the game here. Um, so it's a second and goal. Yeah, we'll hand a uh, keeper from Hanalt who gets the outside. That's and, it. That's a touchdown. And a touchdown by Jared Hanalt. So that's an eight-yard run for Hanalt. I, I just said it, Scott. Hanalt has some really, really good awareness on his part. And to keep that ball and break to the outside is a great play on his part. So interestingly, uh, talk about that trivia game, that trivia before. So again, that was Grace Taylor, but the Grizzly field hockey team defeated Derry Field 4-0 in a playoff game on Thursday. And now they'll face off against Sauhegan in the regional finals on Monday here at Goffstown High School two and, and also broadcast by GTV. Two pretty good field hockey teams, Scott. I don't know if you uh, catch up with field hockey enough, but Sauhegan and Goffstown. So we got a two-point conversion here, presumably because our kicker is not active over the Quick middle pass to jonah lopez and perfect yep. on a dime there scott so lopez with a two-point conversion and uh that one was thrown right at the head of a referee scott yeah uh the referee had to duck so really really good heads up play there from the referee as well as uh golf sounds gonna get get out to an eight seven lead just one point but momentum mr. no that was it i think you're mr. right mr mo Mr. Momentum is starting to shift sides, and I'd like to see what Memorial comes out with. I think we're going to see a lot more run next drive for Memorial. Yeah, I think I think you make a great point, is that th all of the momentum, when I'm talking a lot of momentum, was on the Crusaders' side. Yeah. And uh, with that interception and the quick touchdown, I mean, Goffstown didn't do much in this first quarter. Yeah, and that, that two-point conversion play could be telling for the rest of the game, too, as that was wide open for yeah, Jonah but, Lopez. But you're going to see two-point conversions a lot today for Goffstown because they're without their place kicker. Exactly, Scott. Speaking of which, Ryan Cody's coming out for the kickoff to, uh, right now, and he had a really good kick he did. to start this game. So he let's, kicked it to about the 15-yard line. Let's so. see what he can do from here. He's He's got that toe ball kick to him. Yeah. And he does Another it again. Good one. That's wow. even deeper. Holy cow, to the five-yard line. My goodness, Scott. And Hanolt is there, uh -oh. but he's this not going to take it. This is trouble. Oh, and Cody's not going to catch up to oh, him. Somebody's going to catch him right there. Number Will 19. Will Sasso can't get him. And Picard is all that's left as he's slowing down. And he steps wow. out of bounds A in the 10. A 90-yard return. My goodness, Scott. So, Hanalt was there early, but he just couldn't get the angle on that tackle. So, where'd the Mo go now? Yeah, Mr. Mo. He's switching sides back and forth on us here, Scott. At the 5, 8-yard line. So, Memorial with like an... That was pretty much an 85-yard return, I yeah. think. It was on the five, I think. So it was quite long. We don't have a statistician today, but that was a super long uh, kickoff return. And really good running there by uh, by number four, Christian Sebo. He he broke some yeah, tackles. But he, and on, on that one, I hate to say it, but I think because the ball was kicked so deep, I he think had that a lot of time to had, set up. He did. Exactly. And I Scott. think that was the difference because I don't think the special teams is used to somebody kicking it to the five yard line. So we are going to see Kai Colson, the, the player who broke that four, that 35, 40 yard run, come back out. And he's going to be it's a handoff. in the trenches. And, and he gets quickly gobbled up by 24 Hanault. So, so Jeremy Hanault's going to redeem himself there. He couldn't get the angle on the last play, but he wraps up that the great runner, uh, Kai Colson. So that's a, loss. Early. that's a loss of two. And, you know, what we don't know is we don't know the kicking situation from Memorial. So this well, could, these could be four, four down situations. Well, their, their extra point kicker looked very, very well. Yeah. Interestingly, um, you know, J.J. is coming in, like, off the sideline. So these, yeah. they're, not, they're not doing any type of hand signals. He's literally nope. running to the sideline and coming back. Yeah. Which gives your players a nice. So you got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Levesque on the bottom of your screen. Look for that quick slant over the middle. And that's where it is going, Scott. And Levesque took the outside on that ball, and he left the inside wide open. Yeah, so that was – I mean, we saw that from up here. Yeah. So that's on the two-yard line. And there was no – there's no help from a linebacker. So nope. it was all – you know, I hate to say it, but, you know, Levesque is in no man's land there. I mean, that's a tough 
tough play to defend. So that'll bring up a third down and two. For third and goal, goal from the two. Yep, from, from the two. We hear a defense ch chant here for Goffstown. I'd say look for and a, there's a I'd say number look for a handoff two. here. Number two is wide open for Goffstown. Uh, and Hammond's trying to call a timeout, but they won't give it to him. Coverage was not correct, correct. at all, Scott, yep. there. Yep. They had two ride receivers on the top and one defensive back, yep. and Jared Hinault looked a little and lost to what, yeah, as you, what to do. You can't be happy if you're uh, – now, this – we should say that uh, Aaron Duval, who would be typically playing defense, is not. Yeah. Uh, so he's injured. And, um, and uh, Scott, I think we're going to turn to a score alert right about now in our studio. All right, thanks, guys. In Bedford last night, they originally had on the schedule Pinkerton, but we all know how that has been going for this COVID season. 15 yards here from uh, Tyler Amin as Nashua South goes on to win in a surprising upset here, 41-7 to over Bedford in Bedford. You know, really, I think, you know, some big plays here, um, that interception. Hmm. Not sure what's going on here back at the studio. Uh, we our our little our little uh, display is frozen. All right, so we are got a third down and two from the two yard line. The Crusaders knocking on the door. Goffstown had to call a timeout because they were in a wrong defensive formation. Josevic with the fake handoff, but he gets wow. gobbled up. Jeremy, Jeremy Hanault, what a play! With a play of the game defensively so far, Jeremy Hanault. That was a draw. He lost about 10 yards on that play. And let's see if the field goal team comes in here. And I think they do. That's number 11, who's their kicker, Scott. High school kicking is so unpredictable. So, But so far, what an unbelievable play by Hanault. Looking at a 27-yard uh, field goal. Here comes a snap. This one's got The it. kick is wide. Far left. I think it's wide. And that's no it good, is wide. Scott. It is wide. So, so, Scott, what is this now? Mo. Momentum and a turnover on downs. A turnover on downs. And uh, I'll tell you, Jeremy Hanault, what a play. Yeah, so he redeemed himself. He missed that first tackle on the return. And... Uh, He's come back, and he's, he's played really, well. What did really I say well. in the beginning? He's one of the few guys on this team that just seems to have a nose for the ball. Yeah. He's always one second ahead of everybody else. Yeah. And give credit to Coach Hammond, right? Yeah. Get, he called a timeout. So we got a first and 10 at the 20-yard line for the Grizzly. Lopez, closest to your screen. And I think you got to go after that. But uh, Picard picks up a meager three down, some saying. Scott, Jonah Lopez is a really good receiver, but he's almost an even better run blocker. If you look at where him and his, his man ended up at the end of that play, he's down by the 40-yard line here, Scott. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. We haven't seen – has there been a completion on a pass? It's been a lot of screens, but they've been all been dropped, it seemed like. Yeah, um, except for that two-point conversion there, Scott. Got two backs for Hernald. He's going to go up He's top gonna go two. deep to Jonah Lo Lopez, who's oh, oh, almost just had overthrown. Him. But Lo Lopez had that speed to the outside there, Scott. Oh, my goodness. If that ball was on track, that's called touchdown city. Yeah. Right in front of us. And I like that play. And I like the play because it's, it should soften up your defense mm -hmm. because your linebackers are crashing. Definitely, And Scott. your safeties are crashing on the run. So a third and eight puts them in a tough, tough spot, though. I like to go for those type of deep balls when it's like a third, I mean, a second down and three. Oh, definitely, Scott. But uh, so now. That's when you like to see the play action come into effect yep. here. Another pass play. Over the middle. Jeremy had it there. No, no, no. It was way, it was way over his head. No, J Jeremy had the route there, yeah. but it was just overthrown. Yeah. So now we'll see a punt. So a super tight first quarter. It was going lightning fast, and now it's kind of slowed down a little bit with under three minutes to play in the first quarter. And number four is Christian Sebo, and he'll be 
He'll put himself about the 50-yard line. So they're going to get great field position here. Look for them to get the ball probably around the 40-yard line. But, Scott, last time that we saw this, there was a fumble on the punt. So also be on the lookout for that. Here's the punt from Picard. Nice punt. It's got a spiral to it, and that yeah, one's going to bounce. Out of bounds, even better. Uh, oh, no. he stays in. And Sebo with a oh. so questionable decision there from Sebo. I'm not really sure what I he, would not have done that. But I wouldn't have done that either. He picked up an extra three yards, but the risk reward on that one, I'm not so sure. Yeah. But uh, that's a great special teams play by Goffstown. You know, you don't see that type of, I mean, you're talking about a good 40-yard uh, difference there. That's great. Yeah. So he netted about 40 yards which on is, that. Which is really good from someone who's not a, a kicker. punter. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what Memorial can do here. They've, uh, th you can see they've got, they've got the speed on this team. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. Three receivers to the bottom of your screen. And, and it's going to be a handoff up the middle. Big hole again. I mean, this you can't, you can't continue this. So, you follow. You you cannot continue to to get you know nine ripping nine yards. I mean, the holes are just massive. So, Scott, if you watch here, what they're doing is they're running this run-pass option, and the run the pass option on this is a scat formation. So they've got three players wide on the close side. One runs a quick curl, one's, one's a, one runs a bubble route, and one, one runs a go route. So they're running out of that formation, and that could be easily stopped for Goffstown if they just see the opportunity here. Comes a here. blitz. Great tackle. And I don't see who made it on the far side of our I think screen. That's Will Sasso. Will Sasso. He made an unbelievable tackle, which um, that that play is designed for a first down. And Definitely. Sasso tackles him for a loss of about a half a yard. So we're now in third down and two. And this is another cri critical play of the game on a third down and two. If you're Memorial, you know you might not go for it. You know on a fourth and two. So. Recall that Hanault had, had a play which has a loss of 10 yards, which prevented uh, scoring by the Memorial Crusaders. Let's yeah. see what we got here. Looks like they're going to blitz Flanagan again. Cooper Flanagan sneaking up, and he almost got to the pass. And it's going to be close. He's got it. He's got it. I see a flag, though, Scott, yeah, on that it's, an, it's an illegal block beforehand, so you better go back out there. It's, it's going yeah. to be a penalty on the Crusaders, I believe. I think he blocked him before the ball was thrown. Yeah. So that actually, depending on where the blocker is, Let's that see. could be pass interference. You can Scott. pick. Up, you got the better eyes than I do here. Yep. Illegal block in yep. the back. Yep. Most likely there from the. So hand that'll signal. be ten yards from the spot. If the pass if the pass is in the air, that could be considered a pass interference, Scott. Yeah. Let's see what they do now. They're gonna, they're gonna, yeah, they are. Uh, it's gonna be probably, should be ten yards. Chris, the Memorial Crusaders are not happy. The coach is not happy with that call. Yeah, see, but, but I saw I, that from up here. So what I think there, Scott, is it may not be a block in the back, but because the ball is in the air, yeah, it could be considered a pass interference right. because the ball is catchable yeah. in that sense. And that'll be a third and eleven. For Memorial, and if you recall, they picked up a third and 18 in this quarter. Yeah, so, so this I, is not. I, I'm I'm taking a look at the body language and what's going on between the ref here, and the ref is talking about the hand placement of the blocker. It could be considered not a block in the back if the hands were a little bit higher. Screen to Colson, who we know can break one. Uh, but that's but a great doesn't. tackle by Sasso. I tell you, I saw Will Sasso in practice, you know, on Thursday, and. It was funny because he seemed to be getting the coach's ire in yeah. practice, and he has had nothing but two like unbelievable tackles uh, today. So maybe uh, maybe the coach giving him a little grief in practice uh, helped. So we're going to see. We're but we see. tend to see Will Sasso more on the offensive side of the ball in terms of making the plays, and he just made two great defensive two tackles, back-to-back -back defensive tackles. And we're going to see the punt formation come out here for Memorial. Oh, As almost blocked. Seth Osborne almost gets there. What are you doing? What, what are you that? doing? 
Scott, that's going to be terrible field but position. What, what happened there? That was a miscommunication. I think I mean, so. Clearly, they both went away from the ball. So that so that was Schaefer and and Perry out there. Schaefer, I haven't seen him come out on a punt return this year. So Duval is usually out Duval there. Duval is right? usually so out there. What so I'm trying to say is, this is these injuries, these players that are not on the on the field. It's they're just not used to each other. So yeah. in that particular case, one thought that each other had the ball, they both went away from it, took a great bounce. So this Goffstown will be starting off at like the seven yard line. I personally think that this would be a Caden Perry slant over the middle time myself if they have it. Got Josevic playing safety, and I don't think that formation is great for it right now. Handoff to Picard, and he's and but he's great tackle by number 31, I think. Can't tell. Augie Connors, maybe? And that'll do it for your first quarter with so Goffstown up 8-7. So we had a little bit of a technical difficulty here. We had our great, great coordinator, Adam McCune, come up here. That must be your dad. Definitely, definitely not buttering him up or anything, but we did actually have our network switch go down. Oh. So unfortunately, we're going to stick to one camera here, Scott. Gotcha. And we're not going to be able to see our replays up here in the booth. No but problem. But you at home will still be able to. All righty. So we apologize for any technical issues that you may have experienced. Want to thank our crew here at GTV for quickly jumping on it. Just like it's, you know what it is? It's just a simply a screwed up year, right? Yeah. COVID nineteen. Yeah, yeah we, it's, it's screwing with everything. Can't can't get can't get anything to go our way here, Scott. So what a fantastic first quarter here, uh, Memorial against Goffstown. Memorial has definitely come out. Uh, Playing hard, there's, yeah. there's, and no doubt. And if anything, if I, as a critical, as a critique, I think Goffstown looked flat and still looks a little flat. Yeah, I think I think Scott, if if both of these teams continue to play how they're playing, we could either see a really high scoring game or a really low scoring game. Scott. Well, I think that you know the, the keys for Memorial are the fact that they've got the intensity edge right now. There is no doubt about it. And there's another factor: they've got speed. Um, yeah. And I don't know if Goffstown, they've seen a couple of players so far that have, Bedford had some players with some good speed. Um, but this team here seems to have three, four, five guys that have really, really good speed. Yeah. And I think you got to give a ton of credit to the uh, Memorial offensive line. There's just been unbelievable holes. So Picard in the backfield, we've got a, a second and nine. This is the one where you don't really want to throw it because guarding against a pick six. Picard yeah. breaks a tackle. Breaks a couple tackles, Scott. And he picks up a first, and he gets a lot of breathing room. So yeah. now you got to start. Now you, you've got some different options. So Picard, what do you pick up, 11 yards on that? So first down. So this tempo from Goffstown is really, really getting a memorial here as they're not w knowing what to do with their um, substitutions. He Scott. breaks a tackle. And here he goes Picard. Going. He keeps going, Scott. He rumbles and bumbles, Scott. He's got, he's got that second, that second opportunity every time. Yeah, he picked up a good 27 yards on that. And Goffstown's gonna get right back to the line. They, uh, I don't think Memorial knows what they're doing against this tempo here, Scott. As, as he's gonna keep it. Hanal picks up a yard or two. He gets stopped at the 50-yard line. Nice tackle. I don't know if any read was correct there, Scott. Yeah. It looked like the running back was wrapped up and the quarterback was uh, getting played by that, that outside read there from Goffstown. So, you know, a Memorial player barely got off the field on that, do that high tempo. Oh, definitely. It was an interior defensive lineman. And those aren't the big boys you want running in and out of the field because they get caught on those 12 men on the field plays, Scott. Blitz. Nicely picked up. Over the middle to Caden Perry. Who breaks the tackle and he, he could go, Scott. And he holds on to the ball. Very yeah. good play nice there from play. Caden Perry as uh, yep. as uh, Josephic came in and tried to smack that and punch that ball out. And uh, going to get a timeout here, I think, by Memorial because yeah. they don't know what's going on. They don't on. know. This tempo has hit Memorial yeah. in the face, Scott. 
Goff Sound just went from one side of the field to the other Very in a matter of seconds. Yeah, so Caden Perry, that was a round. Again, don't have our statistician here. 37, 36 yard ish type uh, pass play. Yeah, and he he had a really good, really good decision there at the end. He put a second hand over Thank the ball. Thank goodness, because Josevic, that, that was a great, great play because he did the strip, the strip tackle. And he's got Josevic has got a lot of speed. Yeah. Now the interesting thing to keep in mind here is that Josevic plays both ways. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that your quarterback gets tired, but your quarterback can get tired. Yeah. And in I terms think of. If so you're, if you're Goffstown, you want to you want to make him get tired. You want to throw those deep balls. Maybe have him have him press up and give a little bit of help. So, but uh, I think smart smart play calling by Coach Hammond in the sense that he says, okay, we're gonna we're gonna hammer him with the run, and then he opened it up with that play over the middle, which is open if they bite on the run. Definitely, Scott. What I'm, also take a look at the size on Memorial's defensive line. Yeah, not nearly as big. Is on the offensive line. But, Scott, here's the thing. Those defensive players are winded right now, and we're going to see their second and third string defensive line come out. Yeah. And now you got the chance to – you had a pass last play. I think a run would be really effective here, especially in an inside zone going right at those new offensive line. So or first defensive down line and out. 10 at the 14-yard line. Hanault in the shotgun. He passes over the middle. Oh, and he misses number 24, Hanault. That's a good play um, on the middle of the field there. Interestingly, by if he had thrown more of a loft ball, it's hard to tell. I mean, what that, yeah. but it was wide open. There was nobody over top. So now we'll go to second down. And you know that Goffstown's going to, this is four down territory here because no one's kicking field goals. Option, and, and oh, Picard just gets so gobbled Scott, I, up by I, 79. I, that was uh, Sebastian. I'm sorry, Blake Martin, and I think helped by Sebastian Botello. I'll, I'll say it. I stand corrected. These new interior defensive linemen that have come in, maybe they're second or third stringers. Maybe they're they don't feel as tired. They don't feel as tired, and they're ready to get down and and play with this golf sound team. Pass play. He lets that develop. Oh, he had him oh. wide open. I think and he could not execute. Oh, my goodness. He put a little too much on it, to be honest. I mean, he was wide open by five yards. So, Scott, I think we're seeing here a little bit of nerves from Jarrett Hanault. I yeah. think he's getting a little too jumpy with this ball, and he's put it over the top of a couple receivers maybe a, a, couple, many too, that, a couple too many times. That was just a blown coverage. It seemed like I, Sasso was open by a mile. Yeah. Fourth down. And give it to Jonah Lopez, who stretches out. That'll be and gets first, the first down. down Scott. First down. Unbelievable. So that'll be first and goal. What an unbelievable play. Really good play by Lopez there because he ended up having to stop his momentum, jump for the ball, and then lean back into the momentum. And this golf the golf sound fans, the only ones that are allowed here, Scott, are getting loud. Yeah. So we got under 10 minutes to play in the second quarter. And it's a first and goal at the four. And Gostin has now a ton of options in front of him. Hanault in the shotgun, Picard to his left. That's where and it's going to go. Picard is going to get a touchdown. He's get a he, touchdown. He just walks right wow. in there. It seems too easy at points for Picard. He just, I'm, I'm a little shell shocked to be honest, Scott. So they're going to go for two again, which is a smart move. Yeah. Got an air horn in the Goffstown fan section, and it's, it's quite loud. So when we're done with this one, and, and as before we get ready for the next kickoff, we have another trivia question. And Jared Hanault's just going to take this one up the middle and get and that he gets it, so. easy two points. So our first trivia question was answered by Kenna Pichuch? Pie Pietsu. 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 Pie oh, I Kenna coached, Pietsu. I think the older, I think I, somebody with the same name. So, okay. Coach softball, a girl named with that last name too. How that translates to how that's spelled? It's like you got the P-I-E. Yeah. And then C-U-H. C-U-C. Uh, yeah. Pietsu. 
Sue. Oh, okay, Piet. whatever. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's I don't just, know. It's a I tough one to pronounce. It is. I've we had... didn't get help on that. I didn't get it spelled phonetically for me, so I apologize to Kenna. So 16-7. And I'll tell you, these two two-point conversions, these are going to matter. Definitely, Scott. Um, and I say that because um, Goffstown doesn't have uh, a kicker. No. And this now puts them nine points right, ahead. Right, Instead of the what would be normally seven points ahead, right. they're now nine points ahead, Scott. So last kickoff is when Memorial just – had a crushing return, and that's like a offside kick. That didn't even go and all it the didn't yards. Go all the way. That could go to Goffstown. That could go to Goffstown. Go he to touched Goffstown. it. He touched the ball. He Memorial, touched the ball. Memorial and it's touched it, and it's ball. Goffstown's ball. He touched Scott. the ball. What Why he play. touched the ball, we don't know. What a play! But he by touches Goffstown. the ball. I mean, you talk about luck. You talk about luck. Wow. If he doesn't touch the ball, it's a penalty. He doesn't go oh more than ten yards. Oh my goodness, Scott! So he touches the ball. And, and then a Goffstown player jumps Jeremy on Jeremy Hanult, yeah. who's had incredible heads-up plays. Crazy, all game today, crazy, Scott. crazy. And just like that, Goffstown's offense is back out, ready to improve on this already two-score lead. But now, if you have a if you have a tired Crusaders defense, this just exacerbates that one. Yeah, and Goffstown loves this tempo, so you know they practice in it all the time, Scott. Oh, what a! I feel bad for the Memorial player. He's obviously coaches are talking to him. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Pass play for Goffstown. He's going, going deep. deep to Hinault. But there's nothing there. there. Great defense by number eight, I think, Calabro. Uh, Jarrett is calling for something. He he didn't like the – I don't think he liked the coverage there. I'm not sure. Yeah, but he, he wasn't he was, even open. He was he was waving in that direction. So okay. I think he's trying to give a note to a, a coach or something that he can, he can Im improve on or change up later right. in the game. What I think there is, that was, they focus, they're focused on our deep ball right now. You saw two or three Memorial players there in the area of Jeremy Hinault, and he's pointing that direction. I like, I like a quick pass here, Scott. This could work. Well, you got Lopez with one-on-one with -on -one coverage. I mean, obviously his defender's playing about eight yards off the ball. Yeah, if Lopez gets a good stutter step in here. Yeah, what behind did I, him. So, you know, I, I said it here, Scott. A good quick pass could work, but it was behind him there, and he yeah, couldn't Hanalt catch it. is not – his passing game is just not on today, in my opinion. Uh, I want to give credit to the Memorial Crusaders. You know, we're right above them. Yeah. And uh, to a man, they all went over to the guy who touched that ball, saying, yeah. don't worry about it, man. That's, yeah. that's teamwork. So, you know, you're going to make mistakes in life. You're going to exactly. make mistakes in games. And, you know, your team's got to back you up, and Memorial, give them credit. And that's exactly what a team should do, Scott. It's going to be a screen. There's going to be uh, a flag on the play here. I'm going to guess this one could be a similar play, like the uh, pass interference block in the back, offsides. whatever it was. What is but it? I'm sorry. A false, a false start. Is that a fourth down? I think it would be, or is it a dead ball? I think that's a, if it's a false start, it is a dead ball, so it's not a loss of down, Scott. No, they're saying fourth down. They're, they're saying, saying fourth, fourth down? They're saying fourth down. So I'm not sure what holding 52. Holding. Oh, okay. So that is that is a um, not a dead ball. Massive, foul massive defensive stand for the Crusaders. Yeah. Down by more than a touchdown. If Goffstown goes in and puts in another one, big time momentum change. It's also how you play defense. Everything changes. Yeah. So Sebo number four is back at his about 22 yard line, waiting for the Picard kick. Picard can kick it over his head. I think. Easy. But he kicks that it. That one's going to shank out of out bounds. Out of bounds at about the 30. Almost hit a photographer there, Scott. That would yeah. not have been good. I'd say it's about the 35 yard line. 34. Okay. I like what Picard did, though, because I think they're telling him to kick it out of bounds because Sebo is he's just too damn good. Yeah, that's true. He's got some good returns, but also you have to remember he did fumble and pick it back up. So. There's something that you want there. So Memorial has a good opportunity here. If they can get some points on the board to get this get, to get back in the momentum. I mean, they're, they're very much in the game, don't get me wrong, but they were dominating for most of that first quarter. Scott, this is still a two-score lead here for Goff Sound, so you can't get too hesitant if you're the Grizzlies. Design run by the quarterback, and that's not going to get much. 
That was that was that looked like everyone in Goffstown knew what was coming on I that play. I would agree. I mean, I think, I think that was that was focused on in film. That you saw the motion, and I think Goffstown's eyes lit up, and they said, "I know what play this one is." It was that like Cody? I think on the tackle. You also had uh, Belanger was in on there. Just about everyone Everybody was in there. Was a gang tackle. So second and eleven for the Crusaders. Under nine minutes to play in the first half. We've got, we've got, I believe, a new offensive lineman out there. So you want to see? So he's not, he's not, he doesn't have that size that we've seen got on that the rest single of the line. coverage on Levesque again. So be careful there. Design run up the middle by the quarterback, and, and a he gets great play down. by Belanger. Belanger. He got off. He got off his block, not like vertically where he's going up and down. He got off his block horizontally there and just shifted his man to the side, Scott. So it's a pickup of about two yards, but Belanger with a great tackle. That'll bring up a third down and a long nine for the Crusaders. But I, I tell you, if if I'm I'm seeing some opportunities if you're the Crusaders. So I think there's one-on-one -on -one coverage against uh, Mikey Levesque, and there's not a whole lot of safety help there at all. Yeah, so depending so, on where you see Caden Perry pull yeah. in or pull out. But if Caden Perry, see how he's sucking up here? Yeah. Which is, I don't know why, because it's a bad throw. That's just, but we haven't seen any of these out routes from Joseph Hick yet, and they're all relatively wide open. But what I'm trying to say, though, is that Caden Perry is kind of getting sucked in from the safety position. Yeah. And there are opportunities to go deep, and if, and if I'm, if I'm them, I go. I, you have to take a couple of shots going deep. So two returners for Goffstown. Let's hopefully we do a little better than last time. So Schaefer takes the up ball, and Caden's going to take the deep. I was offsides on Goffstown, but that's not going to affect it, Scott. That's going to be a five yard, yeah. and it's going to be fourth and four. I, I think it was offsides on Goffstown. We'll see what the call is, unless there was movement. Neutral zone infraction. That's yeah. going to be five yards, Scott. Yep. Yeah. So that still won't change things. Um, I would think you would want to go back a little bit more. So, Kenna, I'd just like to say congratulations for getting that first trivia question, because as of right now, we're not going to do any more for a little bit. Goff sounds going to get two men high there, kick, but high really kick. high. You stay out of the way there. You stay out of the way. Okay. And we're bringing it out of bounds. Yeah. Honestly, great catch by Schaefer there. Really I know, but, but, there's, but there's too many opportunities it to fumble the back ball. Inside right. It's like, like that, why so. bother? When it's like a foot from the, from the uh, you don't do that. Yeah. So Sorry, risky but. play, but good catch. Good yeah. catch. Maybe he's trying to show out. Uh, Say, coach, I could get on offense. Hopefully, Maybe. Look ho what I can do. Hopefully a coach is saying, hey, when you're that close, or somebody's got to be talking to him too, saying, you know, let it go. Yeah. 30-yard line even here, Scott, we've got. And uh, so things have kind of calmed down here after a really crazy first quarter and actually then going into the second. Yeah, Goff sounds pulled ahead to this things nine have, point lead that we're have seeing calmed right down. now. Another pass play. Outside to Jeremy Hanalt. And he, they, I'm telling the, you, is, they are not connecting. I, I mean, it is just, it's weird. It's like they didn't practice this week. That's what it looks like. It is a little odd, Scott, but. I think the conditions, we talked about it. The field is wet. I've seen a couple players slip. You're, Maybe, you're, you're, you're giving a little bit too much credit to I, the field. And I think the balls are just being thrown behind the players. Yeah. It's, they're just not crisp. Jeremy in motion, and Jonah's going to get this tunnel screen, and he could break it. He keeps going. Yeah, you got to keep the ball tight, though. Re so just like that, we see a yeah. good on-spot on throw. And we've got a player down for a memorial, so we'll turn away. And we've got the timeout taken. Really good play by Jonah Lopez there. Yeah. He's just got to be careful after he makes that catch. You know, he broke free. You can't keep the ball all the way yeah, out like that. He was holding it like a loaf of bread, as they like to say, Scott. A He's, loaf of bread. Yeah. So, Goffstown, Goffstown was using their tempo. And that was a good throw. And that was a really good throw. But we got to say it, because I know I've been a little critical of uh, Jarrett in, in this uh, first part of the game, but that was a crisp, crisp ball. That was a really good throw, and Goffstown was using their tempo, and that's going to be slowed down, unfortunately, by a player down on Memorial side here. So, so we'll are, we, are we being – I mean, if I read these questions off, it doesn't really matter. They're not going to see the graphic. 
right? Uh, I think I think we're doing that for the sake of the people back at the studio. I think they're dealing with technical issues oh. at the moment here, Scott. So we're going to give Adam and Dave a little bit of a break, let and them then, settle down. Let let us do the talking and the walking for a little bit, We're doing the Scott. talking and the walking. Okay. Uh, so it looks like all the leaves are brown. And the sky That's not is, funny. And That's, the sky is gray today. You know what? That's not funny, Scott. Okay. I don't find that funny. All right. Don't find it funny, but it's reality. It's reality here in Goffstown. Not, the sun has not come out. Are you poking fun at my colorblindness, Scott? No, I'm not. And no, I was poking it, fun of a song. Oh. That's what I was poking fun oh, of. Okay, but you're well, young, and you probably don't even know the song. No, but I it's don't. Okay. I'll be totally honest, Scott. Right. I don't. All right. Look it up. I won't. <laughs> I'm kidding, what? Scott. I'm kidding, Scott. I'm, I'm pulling your leg. A top 10 hit in the 60s. Another pass Will play. Will Sasso got a really good first step there, but Jonah Wide has, open. The, has the opportunity, Touchdown! and what a play. Oh, Jonah Lopez. What a play by Jonah Lopez. What a ball. Wow. A yeah, ball. So we, we were criticizing him earlier there, Scott, and that one is right in the bread basket there from Jared Hanault to Jonah Lopez. What and a wow. throw. Wow, Scott. That was I'm, that I'm was, amped. That, I'm amped right now, Scott. That was Drew Brees like. That was accurate. What? <laughs> accurate, Scott. I say that because I know that you love Aaron Rodgers, but No, Drew Brees is great. He's yeah. the, he's very accurate, and that yes. was a very accurate. That throw. was a crazy was a good little, ball. It was a little deep to be a Drew Brees pass, but um, <laughs> <laughs> We'll see what Goff Sound does here okay, on the two-point two point conversion. Attempt, and Jarrett's gonna keep it and he's, he's just gonna it. rumble into the end zone. It looks too easy on these two-point conversions yeah. for Goffstown. And Goffstown's going to go up. Let's see. Let's do the math. 17 here, Scott? Yeah. Yep. So that's it's also, again, now it becomes more than, well, you have to hit that's, almost, that, almost that's, three. That's, that's, that's a the three. It's the, a three-score game. Three-score. Yeah. So, but getting those extra points in, in a time in which you don't have your place kicker is, is critical. And... The momentum has shifted a little bit. Goffstown super flat. A little flat. bit? Scott! Well, I'd hey. say momentum has picked its side at this point. I don't know about that. See, I'm like the... Uh, Scott, the, it's a three-possession game. I'm the pessimist, man. It's a three-possession game, seven minutes left, and Grizzlies get the ball at the half. After the half, rather. So you got the dangerous Christian Sebo back at the about the 10-yard line, and I think that one where he ripped it off... Um, Cody kicked it so deep. Another onsider. That one's not going to work, though. And it does it. Nice favor. play by number 54. That would be Matt Wilson. I think. I do think, you? Why would you do that? So, so I think here Hammond is just tr trying to test the waters a little bit. Yeah, but Wait, why? They, they've got they've got a pad like a pad of a lead uh, here. And I it, say I say after that one, if I'm Hammond or whoever does special teams, I say you know what? You don't put as much loft on the ball. You got this well, toe ball kick, correct. and if you know how a toe ball kick works, it's like a laser. Yeah, and yeah. you try and get that low, straight, far I, kick from uh You could have kicked, the, you kicked that out of bounds. They would have the ball in the 40. I mean, you play play field position. That, anyway. that could be true, Scott. So, all right. So, that'll be number nine. J.J. Josevic hands it off up the middle, and he extends... That's like uh, that's a that's a generous spot there from this round. Well, he extended to Osborne with the tackle. I think that was a fair spot. I mean, four to five yard pickup. See, one thing I, I tell you, I do like the fact that Goffstown's plays come in from the sideline, and I, I think it's just tough on that quarterback, especially the guy who's playing safety. Yeah. to keep running back and forth. Yeah, and if you're Goffstown, you're actually happy with how dirty this quarterback's jersey is. You haven't gotten a sack all game, but he's been he's been hit a couple times. And off Scott. up the middle. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, crushing hit there from Nate Belanger. Belanger saying, and, "You will not defeat me." And Colson's already come off come off to the sideline a couple times. So uh, we, we could see a little bit of a problem here for Memorial. So a third and four. And uh, this is a critical play for the Crusaders here. Third down and four. And you know what? They're not having as much success running the ball as they did in that first drive or that first couple of drives. So they're uh, the Memorial punt Everybody's team. in the box here for Gosstown. I'll run up Keeper. the middle, and he's not going to get Osborne it. Osborne with a great tackle. And Belanger finishes him up. But Seth Osborne was in there. The punt team was gathered early here, Scott. Early, right before the third down. 
I think we could see a fake here from Memorial. I think this will be a great opportunity for a fake because you don't lose much. No. You, know? you don't lose a whole lot on a, on, what? They should watch out for the fake. Yeah, it's going to be a fake here, Scott. He's running it. It is. And he's going to get it. You called, called it. it. You called it. Because there was nothing. That's why, you, that's why you don't, in that situation, you don't have two guys back. No. You can't. You can't. I almost wanted to run down to our coaches that are right by our side. Yeah. But. So it is kind of scary when we're starting to see the stuff up here. So so now they're going to be in fourth down territory. Um, and this is so imperative for them to put up points here. They've got to put up a score before they go into the second half. Have to. So a good play by the athletic quarterback. J.J. Josevic. No, pick that, up, that was that 11. Was that was that 11. 11. I apologize. So that would be Will Clark, who's Will also Clark. the kicker. Handoff, handoff, number 30. That's Seymour, and he's got, wow. Hanault, right? Hanault. No, 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 Flanagan. Je no, Jeremy, Jeremy was there first. Okay. And Jeremy gives up some pounds to the freshman Seymour, but he doesn't, he doesn't give up ground. He gives up pounds, but not ground. He stops him quickly there, Scott. Yeah, so about a three-yard gain. For Memorial, clock keeps going four and a half to play in the first half. Goffstown leads 24 to seven. And do you take, I take I take a deep shot right here on I Levesque. I would too, I, I would do. too. 13 yep. and maybe two on this side as Caden Perry's gonna move over to him. And that, yeah. that, that shot over the middle was wrapped up, but but really good, really Tripped good. Tripped up by Cody. If, if Cody doesn't get that shoestring cat, uh, tackle, that really, could be big, big trouble. Really good decision there from J.J. Josephic as we saw we saw Cody actually pull over to that one yeah. receiver and cut off the middle and then come back and get the tackle on the quarterback. So this is mission critical for the Crusaders to put points on the board here because you don't want to go down by that by 17 at the half. And you see Josephic, just great athleticism on that play. Really kind of made something out of nothing. We see a motion. Hand off to 30. Wow. Who was Belanger. that? Belanger just pulled him down by the jersey. And we saw something similar a couple weeks ago from Matt Dalton. From Dalton. And it looks, like, yeah. it looks like Matt and Nate have been conversa conversating a little bit about how to tackle these players that by the jersey. I think it is a word. Conversating. I know. I, I say conversing, but conversating may be. See, I feel that's, like that's it called is. young school, old school. Conversating. It, let's, could, let's, it probably let's is. Get, let's get tied. Let's get Irregardless tied is now a word. So anything yeah, goes. Irre irregardless and regardless mean the same thing, Scott. Exactly. Yeah, conversate is a word. Thanks. Thank you, Scott, for doubting my I'm English not... ability. Thanks. See the fake handoff to Colson, but nothing. that's not going to work. Oh, a shot came in there at the end yeah. from Matt Dalton, yeah. which is a little is he hurt? questionable, he and I think hurt. he is hurt. He got rattled on See, that one. Scott, well, you I, mentioned this. You I, did. I wouldn't. So I wouldn't be upset if there was some sort of penalty that came in on Goffstown there. That shot was a little late and a little yep. towards the head area yeah. of JJ, and that's not something you want to see in any football game. So I would agree. I wouldn't be upset if there's if there's a there's a penalty here on but Goffstown because that was. They didn't call that one. They didn't call the other one um, earlier on in the game where I thought it was a shot to the yeah. head as well. You know, the refs can't see everything. I mean, yeah. we give them, you know, it's tough to officiate. So number five, Braden Haifman, is going to come out at quarterback. And Haifman is a junior. And this is a third and ten. This is a tough spot to come into. Yeah, but, I mean, Memorial could turn back to this already successful run game here. And they're going to see a man in motion. He's going to pass it. Haifman. Oh, going to get a holding penalty yeah. here. But that's not going to matter as yeah. Goffstown was there. Now, do you, do you bring them back? And I say, what do you think? Do you bring them back? I say no. No, because that would keep them. That would keep them on. Right. Uh, no, so that would that would be a loss of downs. It really doesn't matter either way. I think Scott. Let's see what he does. Yeah, holding on yeah. seventy nine. Yeah. Timeout, Goffstown. 
So is it? A, it's fourth down now, and it'll be about probably 13 so, because there was he sacked him for a loss. So Scott, I'm getting word from our from our audience here, um, a former player saying he really likes that saying, "Don't give up the don't give up the pounds, don't give up the ground." He, li he likes that saying. Right. We may see that on a T-shirt or something. Okay. So is that a wrestling term? No, no, no. I, I just said I, you it. Just I made just it. said it. You just made this up, and now so all of a sudden you're going to get a T-shirt? Jeremy Hinault yes. says. Yes, I know. Says, I, know. I know. I heard he you. He doesn't give up the he yeah. doesn't. He gives up the pounds, but not the ground. So. Yeah. My former, the former player I'm in contact with is Jose Paez. Jose Paez. Who's the, uh, the brother of Jonah, Jonah Lopez. So How's Jose doing? He's doing good. He's on a he's on a little bit of a road trip right now. I believe he's down in uh, Baton Rouge, no way. Louisiana. Yeah, he's been all over the country as of recently, which is it's really cool to see. Funny story. I was actually at uh, Savers. You know the thrift shop. Of just, course, I know where Savers just, is. Just just I'm not browsing. one of those elitist people. I know what Savers <laughs> is. Well, I was just browsing the thrift shop. You yeah. can find some cool vintage yeah. clothing in yeah. there, and I saw a maroon shirt, and I was like, "Huh, maroon? Maybe that's some Goffstown." Was it Goffstown. a Pius jersey? And I yeah, I, I made it. A, I yeah. made a joke to my friend who was with me, and I said, "I said maybe maybe that's a Goffstown memorabilia or, yeah. or jersey or something." And I look, and it, it's Jose Pius varsity football shirt and wow. i sent i sent him a picture of it yeah. and he goes i'll pay you for that H how did it land there i don't he doesn't know maybe uh maybe jonah brought it to save us <laughs> 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 all right we got two minutes 17 seconds until the half it's a fourth down and 14 but the good news for the crusaders is that you've got your stud quarterback in jj jj joseph who's got great legs he can run the ball super well and we got trips to the bottom part of your screen. That's and that's going to be a false, yeah, start. false start. That's a killer as you're already fourth and 14 here. And, for, and the coach for Memorial. for Memorial, one of them, is not happy. That's a, that's a tough goal for Memorial. And they're just not it in a is, good spot well, right now. It is because you're coming out of a timeout situation. You know what the count is. Yeah. You know, it's like, come on. So that'll be a fourth and 19. And if you're Goffstown, you got to be playing conservative in the sense that, you, you know, you don't. Yeah, just send a cover for, don't, right. don't let anything get past right. you, past that back chain marker right. there. And let your, let your guys get into the backfield. So they got a rush of a blitz coming, and how do you? And that's not going to get he's there. He's shy. He's right. shy. I don't know how you let that one happen there, Scott. You should, I don't know if you send a middle linebacker on that blitz or you just Ooh. put him over the top. But a great throw. That's a nail biter. That's, That's a no, nail no, biter. That was a great throw, but it's like, man, they, they made that closer than it should have been. I mean, one little missed tackle, and and you got a first down. So what does Goffstown do here? I say you run the ball only. You don't want any turnovers. There's no need to pass the ball with two minutes left. I don't even think – I don't know how many timeouts are left off of both these teams. One for each team? Yeah. So we got one timeout for each team. I, I think if you're wise here, you just run the ball – and uh, you try to pick up a first down. If you don't pick up a first down, you punt. Definitely. You don't want to throw the ball. And that's what they do. Crazy. There was a timeout, timeout before the Memorial. snap. Memorial. By Memorial, yeah. So that's going to be their final timeout. We've still got 2.10 left. So we'd just like to take some time to apologize about the technical difficulties. There were some really odd issues going on. So we're down to one there camera There was a mouse right in now. the studio. There was no. a mouse in the no, studio? No, I'm just saying that. Maybe uh, ate some of the wire out here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how appetizing So am I, am I allowed is. to do the trivia for the second one? Or uh, no? I, th I think we're good to go. We would be? All I right, think so, so. So let me bring up the, the second trivia question of the day. Which member of the golf team eagled the first hole at Stonebridge during a practice round in September. Scott, are you are you well versed with golf knowledge? Like, do you golf at all? Um, I, I I haven't golfed in three years. Okay. Eagle. What, what is an eagle? An eagle means that it's two shots under par. Two shots. I'm under sorry. Par. Yes. I think I've done that. A birdie I think I've done is that one in mini golf. Correct. So it's isn't like turkey. So turkey is also a thing. So is if that bowling? You, if that's you bowling. eagle a, a par three, that's that's a hole in one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that, that makes sense because right. it's two less, two less and than the, one. Yeah, it's yeah. math. It's everyday math. It's probably like in fourth grade everyday math. Hanault, they're gonna pass again. I don't know about this, boys and girls. He missed it. Okay. See, because you stop, because you stop the clock, 
I'm just not yeah. digging this. Yeah. Okay. I'm just not digging it at all because just you've got a 17 point lead. You've had good success running the ball. Keep running it. Yeah, this is a chew clock situation. Exactly. You do. It, just you makes, just wanna... it makes no sense whatsoever. And great, great way to get back to the ball there. And by there's, Will a Sasso. there's a different story between between a pass out to the flat, which is like wide open, than yeah, uh, and why than are that. You, why are you going out of bounds on these passes no, as just, well? That's going to stop it, the it, clock too. I love the play call. Here's another one. It's just like I don't get it. I don't get this. I don't get it. Yeah. I mean, he's wide open, and he misses the, misses the ball, but, but you're going to give these guys the ball back. First of all, the clock didn't even go down. It was at 2.04 before. <laughs> so the clock is not right. Uh, can't be because it was 2.04 before that play. Yeah. We have it as two minutes on our side. Yeah. But 2.04 is great. Surprised the refs haven't changed that one because that can't be accurate. So now they're gonna what if they, now watch they'll probably run the ball now. Nope. Okay, now it was almost that's, an interception. That's a flag. No, that it is, is it, no, it is that not is a 100% flag. That is one hundred percent a flag. It's not a flag. No, it's just bad play calling no, that's, by Goffstan. That's, that's all it is. That's not a flag if Jeremy Hanault touches the ball. That is a flag of unnecessary roughness. No, it's because not. Because he it's wasn't not. even. That it's was not. no, Scott. Scott, listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me. Stop interrupting for a second. If if Jer if Jeremy Hanault. If Jeremy Holt had a shot at that ball and touched it, yeah. then it's that's fair. That's fair game. But he would. They were he both was, going for the ball. The, and again, the, Jeremy Holt did not have the let's, ball. Let's Scott. just focus on the punt here, because now Goffstown's horrible play calling has led to now a punt, and they'll get the ball back at the forty-yard line. Scott, what do you think about their play calling? Here? Horrible, <laughs> absolutely I horrible. I haven't been able to tell. It's okay. Good snap. And that one's just going to shank. It's a good kick, It's though. a good kick. It's going to take a couple bounces in Goffstown's favor, and that's going to come down towards around midfield. Yeah, so it's just, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that. It was horrible play calling? Give me a break, man. I mean, you're up by 17 points. The last thing that you want to do is give them any momentum whatsoever. It's yeah. Just, I don't like it. But at the same time, Scott, you do get the ball after half of your Goffstown, and you th you threw the ball three times I, I in a row. I understand. Okay? I understand. I'm not just. I'm not even talking it about once. I'm talking but, not even twice. Three times in a but row. But Goffstown should have a first down, as that was a flag on Jeremy Hinault. No, it wasn't. He had no shot at the okay, ball. Okay, 48 yard and they, line. They leveled him. He was a defense lifts receiver, Scott. Thank you, Ty, for that the terminology there that I was missing. Josephic, here comes the rush, and Dumped a over the nice middle. catch. But this is not working in your favor if you're Memorial. You're going to keep these over the middle, quick throws, and you're not you're not versed for tempo just yet, Scott. And you have no timeouts left. Second and five. Goffstown is all confused on defense too. Run up the middle, and he just that's not going to work. He bent a little bit there, Scott. If you've got if you've got somebody like Kai Colson who is listed at a 5'7", 165, and I think one sixty five is a little generous. Um, if you've got somebody like Matt Dalton coming down on top of you, that's not good for you. So a third down and six for the Crusaders. And the clock will stop on a first down as they move the chains. They're going to go up top on Levesque. No. Great play Great. by Levesque. Great. Oh, no way. Are you kidding no me? No way. Are you no kidding way me? No way on this earth is that a flag. Come on. It was at the same exact time. It wasn't Levesque. It was like, no, who was it? Was that, it was Levesque. Levesque. that was Levesque. That was Levesque. That was, there was that no way. He was moving towards the ball. Horrible he was moving ball. towards the ball. Horrible and he played ball. the receiver for the ball. And I'm hoping so, that so we Scott, get a replay here. Scott. But Scott. Horrible. 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 Scott. That, I would say yeah. that would be a makeup call, but they missed the one on Jeremy Hinault. Well, Nault. the point is that we got the best angle from where we are right now. And listen, we, we would if it was legit, we would we would say it. I mean, but they were both there at the same time. So the clock. The clock's not going to start rolling until they snap this ball, I'm pretty cool. sure. I think you're right because it's a penalty. Because it was a penalty, yep. it, and it was a an incomplete pass on top yep. of that, Scott. Yep. I don't like that call at all. I don't like that call at all. That was behind him to 84. I ah, God, after the non-call on Jeremy Hinault, well, and now that. Listen, you're a homer. 
Okay? I'm not a homer, Scott. No, you're a homer. I know. I uh, listen. I know what I'm. I I I, I hate to sound cocky. No, no here, I, I would But agree. I know what I'm talking about. I don't think that was pass interference on Levesque. I really don't. It was a quick. You know, it's a tough See, call for a, an official. So too. so the difference between the Jeremy Hinault play and the Levesque play. Levesque is playing the ball. Yeah. Levesque is r- moving towards the ball, and Jeremy had no chance the ball. All right, we got a second and ten, and here comes a long pass. Play this if you're Levesque. An interception by, by Caden Perry. Caden Perry intercepts it in the end zone and for that's a touchback. Gonna be a, that's going to be a touchback, too. So that's it. That's, I think this is, this is a telling moment for Memorial here. I think if you're Goff's down, you come out, you just hand off three times to Zach Picard. They can't stop so the clock. So that's Caden Perry's second interception. Yeah, you just you just gotta you just gotta do three quick inside inside runs here for Oh really? For what? Zach Why don't we just go deep again? Why don't we just throw the ball three more times? Why not? <laughs> Scott, I, mean, I love your thinking. Let's do it. You should I be mean, coach. Now is the time. They're gonna think it's gonna be a run and you throw it. And hey, anything to increase the lead, right, Scott? And that's what they're gonna do. Oh yeah, yeah. Oi caramba. <laughs> what are we doing here? But I love Hammond's play calling, but not now. <laughs> and you're going to send Will Sasso. You're going to send Will Sasso, Will Sasso all the way down. Great to get job, the ball. Will. Come on, coach. Come on, Will Sasso. Come on, coach. Will's been playing great today. So, I, I, come on now. He's the ball boy. And he sends a wrap. That, actually, that was a, that not, was a decent throw from so Will Sasso. So, maybe Sasso, Sasso should, they should do like a, an option an play. End of, an end around from Sasso, like a they Philly run Philly. Now. Oh, look at that. Whoa! It's crazy. Whoa, what's that? What is it? What are we play. seeing here, Scott? And that will do it. It's no, almost one like more play. We, it's almost like we have an all state running back in our backfield. So so now if you're Goffstown, if you want to like just tr- you know, go for like a total deep ball, maybe get lucky, then go for it. But Yeah. Yeah, just 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 tell Jonah Lopez, run a go route and throw a stutter step somewhere in there. We don't really care. Or they might just let the or clock run out, run take out. a penalty, and then that'll be the game. I mean the half, so and that's what they're gonna do, I bet. I mean, this back judge's arm hasn't Time out. gone up yet. They're just going to call that done. Yep. All right. So that's going to end our first half as Goffstown's going to be up with a 17-point lead, 24-7, to over the Memorial Crusaders. All righty. Welcome back, everyone, to the second half of football. We're here at Goffstown High School as the Grizzlies lead 24-7 to at the half. And uh, really, a, it was a, a tough first quarter for the Grizzlies but then they kind of they kind of got their act together especially on defense they needed to do that because that first drive by the Crusaders was was just a masterpiece yeah and great defensive play here from our two middle linebackers Osborne and Cody along with Caden Perry from the safety position he's got two interceptions yeah, Caden Perry has two interceptions you know and, and I would say that um you know this hasn't been Jared Hinault's best uh game in terms of his throws but he had an unbelievable throw to Jonah Lopez. Yeah. I mean, that, you, could not, you couldn't throw a better ball than that. Beautiful over the shoulder, yeah. right in the bread basket, right where you want it to be if you're a quarterback. And uh, just just really good. What, one standout play there by the, Jared Hinault as a passer. If, if Goffstown is able to complete half of their tunnel screens or their, their throws to the, sh- to the flat, uh, this game is probably a runaway. Yeah. Um, but they haven't been able to execute on those short passes if that's something that changes in the second half, then it's, it, this this will be an unstoppable team, I think. Yeah, I think I think Scott, especially now, right now, with Goffstown getting the ball here to start the half, if Goffstown can march down and get an easy score, an yeah, easy right, eight the, points, probably no, no. the game is over. The game will be well, it'll be really hard because really, right, because then pretty then, close to over. Then Goffstown can play a defense. I'm not saying a prevent defense, but they can they Just, can. They can be a little more conservative on defense, not yeah, take chances. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to focus in on stopping the run or stopping the pass. You just have to stop from scoring. So we got to give you credit, too. You called that fake punt from I did. up here. So you get, you get, uh, you. You get a, a helmet you sticker as well. Let's see what they do here. Uh, see if Goffson does the dealer. It looks like there are enough people back for the dealer, but this one's going to be an onside. It, that's offside. But so. it would, it's an onside kick attempt, but it's, but it's off, offside. Offside's onsides. Say that t- ten times fast, Scott. Offsides, onsides, offsides, onsides, offsides, onsides, offsides, onsides, offsides, onsides. Something so we, like that. The sun has come out here. Yeah. 
Do no no no. Right Scott. Right Scott. A little bit of. Um, they're not. There is no penalty here, folks. Uh, I think that something with the clock maybe, but the referee had stopped it. So it looks like they're going to do a, a squib type kick. Look how that ball is nested on. Yeah, it's not. It's not propped up directly. Yes. So it's like a. It's watch it roll. You're going to watch it tumble a little bit. Yeah. It's going to come over itself, and that's what's so weird about the football shape. So it's going to end over end type kick. And Picard is just going to slip out of bounds the 45. at the 44-yard line. So I think Memorial has seen their share of the Goffstown's dealer play where uh, you know guy fakes it and goes up the sideline for a big gain. So they just said, hey, let's be conservative. And yeah. they kicked it to uh, Picard. Picard about the 35-40-yard line. Yeah. So Goffstown will start off in the third with the ball on the far side. Trips to the near side. We're going to see Pass no play handoff. over the middle. Deep wide to Perry, open. and he's wide open. That's a touchdown, he's gone. folks. He's that gone, Scott. is a touchdown, Caden Perry. So we literally just said it. If Goffstown can come down and get an easy six, eight points, whatever it is, and they just did it. Yeah. They just did it. It's it, That one looked too easy. Caden Perry was wide open. There's a miscommunication on the coverage. And just like that, there's six point new six new points up you on know, the board. The, you know, the crazy thing is we're not keeping stats here. They'll keep stats in the newspaper. But, you know, here I, I'm being critical a little bit of, of Jared Hanoff. That was a beautiful ball. That was a wonderful and ball. he's probably approaching 200 passing yards uh, easily in this game. So we'll see what they do. They've been perfect on two-point conversions. I'll knock on wood so I don't announce and uh, announce and jinx that uh, one. Motion by us, I think. Yeah, false, false start. start. Yeah, false start against Goffstown. Now it's going to make it really challenging for that two-point conversion. Now you have to come up with a, some sort of a pass play. That'll bring them back five more yards. Scott, I'd love to see someone who doesn't who doesn't have any, like barely any knowledge about football and try and figure out what the hand signals are. Yeah. Because if you showed me the hands like tumbling over each other yeah. um, I wouldn't be like oh that's a false start I'd be like a legal somersault I'm not sure on that one so I look for Caden Perry on the out route and it's going to go to Cooper Flanagan who can not haul that one in I don't know even if Flanagan caught that ball I don't he's, think he had the right angle he's not to, getting to the get end in zone there. there I think that also that is also a little bit um, an interesting play there because we haven't seen Flanagan all that involved in the offense and it looked like Jared Hanold threw it a little bit in front of him. I think he was expecting someone more like Uzi Empoyo yeah. or uh, or Caden Perry on that out route. So not the worst. Golf Sound's going to go up by 23 here. Yeah, it's so you mentioned it. Uh, that was a quick, uh, really 12 quick. Seconds. 12, 12 seconds. 12 seconds. 12 seconds and boom, touchdown. And that, that makes it incredibly challenging for the Crusaders. Uh, down 23. They're going to have to get a quick score here or at least – get a score, but they've got to get some stops against Goffstown, and they haven't been, aside from that first quarter, they haven't been all that successful. So Goffstown has kind of figured out the Crusader defense. So Cody has stepped in for kicking duties today as uh, Ethan Bradley is out. And on those deep kicks, he's actually done quite well. He's put him in good position there, Scott. Here comes your kicking team, and it's another squibber. That's going to go out of bounds. But I'm okay with that. That's a smart play by Memorial. So I think that they could take it five yards from, where, uh, from there or at the 40. So they're, they'll probably take it at the 41-yard line. You get an extra yard, you know. I think so. We did have our special rules analyst, uh, Mr. Huft, come in and talk to us a little bit about these uh, these odd penalties and how they're different in high school than they are in the NFL or college football. So, little bit of little bit of energy added back into this Memorial sideline. I think someone has to let him know they're down 23. Um, Colson's back out there on Josephic's left side as well as number eight on the outside. That would be Joe Calabro. Um, and off. as a wide out he, and gets a, he breaks free that was a really good move to get to the inside of yeah, the box was good, there it was good blocking by the memorial line they did all they had to do was turn the Goffstown defensive player that's all they yeah. had to do there and and really good vision there from uh from Colson um from his running back position so he just got he just found the hole and then he kept making moves to 
to push it up for a, a second and one, Scott. Yeah, so that was a really great rush. This is where I this is where I go up. I go up top. I throw the ball. Play action, throw the ball. That's a first down. So Seymour with the rush, and he'll get a first down. And it's like Pierce was in the tackle with Osborne. Yeah, it's uh, it's a second one that's not not hard to pick up there, Scott. Yeah. Especially when the run has been working so well for Memorial. But that's why I like the play of just going, you know, yeah, going going deep. I mean. So Goffstown safeties, you know, they, they're they kind of playing up. They're protecting against the run. And a handoff up the middle. And oh, Jeremy Hinault. Yeah, but he just ran over. Just got ran yeah, over. He got ran over. So that's a six, seven yard. That's a six yard gain, almost seven. I think, I think number 30 is about 30 pounds of pads right now. He's got some big shoulder pads on him. He looks so, a little larger than I think he so really this, is. So this reminds me of the first drive that Memorial had where they're, they're doing really well on the offensive line. Yeah, you have, to, you have to watch out for a big chunk play here as Colson comes back on as the running back for, for Memorial. And What's that's, going on here? That's like a... That's like a... Oh, he drops it! He could have... Oh! Jeremy Hinault jumped up a little bit a little bit on that one, and that could have been gone if Memorial yeah. caught that one. That's what I'm saying. He got sucked in on that one. Yep. And we've seen the same problem with Caden Perry, but, but Caden Perry has come up with him. But what do you think happened to Memorial on that first play of the game, first yeah, play of the half? Exactly. They got sucked in, and boom. I believe the last time we played Memorial, they come out in this one one safety set, Scott, where you've got one safety deep, and depending on where that safety goes, you go the opposite direction. Third down and four. This could be fourth down territory. You're down by 23. Let's see what Josephic does. Handoff up the middle, and he's going to get that first down and a yard more wait way to way to stop him though by Jeremy Hanault again but when your safety is making the tackle you don't want that to happen that is an indication that your linebackers and your 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 front 3 are not doing their jobs so George Pierce comes back in the game at nose tackle you've got you've got the edge set by Nate Belanger and Matt Dalton. But they're, they're, they're really getting the, their, their bread and butters up the middle. Motion here. Almost that one's fumble. bobbled. Almost a fumble there. Yeah, that's a loss of and two a or three. And a gang tackle. So see, Scott, there is a little bit of extracurricular going on in that gang tackle, but we've seen it allowed by reps here with some late hits on either side of the ball. So a little so, scrappy going on here. So in comes 84, Dom Lessier. Yeah, he looked really and good he in warm-ups. did. So I, I, I think, I don't know, I try to get him the ball over the middle. It's like if, if you get him the ball, I think he's going to break some tackles. He's so big. Yeah, and he's he's replacing Basil High, who had a really good play over the top. So I think you're going to see them emulate that same kind of play with 84 here. And Hanalt is covering him up. I actually like that matchup. Hanalt and 84 are very well matched. And Goffstead did a nice job defending that play. They gave up about five yards, but... Yeah, way to get up and contest that right. ball a little bit by Cooper Flanagan yep. at the line. That's that's a really and they had up they play. Had a they had a defender beneath as well, underneath, yeah. I should say. So, so this is going to be four down territory uh, for the Definitely. Crusaders. You're down by 23. You're down by 23. You have to, you're going to have to go for it. So... That's how you have to decide your play calling here. Maybe you do run the ball again. I'd love to see a deep route run by number 84 here, Scott, because it looks like... He got back, I, though. So oh, neutral zone. I'm not even sure about that one. So the thing... I, I've said this earlier in the season. It's the a, thing with an offsides... I believe this one could be called a neutral zone infraction. Yeah, but it's a neutral zone the infraction. Thing, the thing with an offsides is if a player gets offsides and makes an effort to come back right, on sides, right, right. it's not an offsides. Right. I think you could say... That uh, that Osborne made an effort to get back on sides. So we're gonna see it. We're gonna see just a random. It's like a leaf storm. Yeah, a little bit of a leaf storm here. Fall fall is happening, folks. It's so now it's, it's a sh much shorter situation. Uh, third and a long two, call it three. Single coverage. 
Looks like looks like JJ Josephic is trying to reset the uh, the line there. And oh, it doesn't work. Man. And, oh, crushing hit as he gets he gets tossed back by Dalton. Dalton, Dalton that was like that's a, like too easy for him. That that was a big loss too. So now it's gonna bring up a fourth down and seven. Wow. And that's almost like a WWE move. Yeah, I think that's like a suplex or something yeah, like that. Yeah. I'm not sure. Not too well versed in, in WWE. Yeah. So here comes uh, Sawyer Bergeron. He's normally a cornerback. He's coming in as well as number 11, Will Clark. So Will Clark is the one they typically go to in these situations. Yeah. So, Scott, again, I'd like I'd like to see them here uh, use number 88, Basil, Basil High. He's lined up at the yeah, end. Yeah, fourth and four. But I think this is going to be a run to that direction, and it is because... Oh, he breaks it. He He's does got break it. it. So, He's got it. So they came out of the huddle really quick there, Scott, and you had, you had three or four blockers... Bit, like just put right on one side, and if you're golf down and you see you see somebody like Basil High, or you've got number seven was there as well. That's Jacob Calabro, whose whose brother is number eight. Um, you've got like three or four players all in the same area, right on the line. That's a massive play though for the yeah. Crusaders. I mean, they desperately needed that. A fourth down and four. They pick it up because they it's it's imperative that they put up points here in this drive. Same base set here for Goffstown. Nothing too special. We could see a blitz coming from the middle linebackers, though. But they're going to stay home. Really good play from... And that's going to be a reception, and the lineman's going to get it. Oh, my Oh, my goodness. God, Dalton. <laughs> Matt Dalton. Matt Dalton just, like, laid the lumber on he him. Says, he says, lineman, running back, wide receiver, it doesn't matter. I don't discriminate. You're getting the lumber laid on you. I don't you. know if we can see a replay of this one from the studio, but, man, he laid the lumber. That was a hit. That was a hit and a half. Yeah. Wow. And that's the thing. If you're an offensive lineman and you're not used to it, I mean, even the guys on the Crusaders are saying, oh, my God, he got his bell rung on that one. Oh, goodness gracious, Scott. That was I, – I felt that one. Oof. That was almost unfair. So now we got a – Coach didn't like it. He thought it was cheap. Yeah. Uh, when you catch the ball, you got to get tackled. Yeah. And Great play by Jared Hanault here. Yeah, Hanault. I always get nervous when your quarterback is playing defense. You know, but, but I mean, Hanault has been really solid been, at that Roma yeah, position. Yeah. I think he's actually taking over today for Uzi and Poyo, who's right. been relative, like I'd say, relatively. He's out. He's, he's not playing. He's really good yeah. on this defensive oh, yeah. side of the ball. Yeah. Usually it is Uzi who's making most of those plays, so he hasn't played at all. And Uzi is one of those guys who gives up pounds but not ground, Scott. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna, oh, man, that could gonna, be a shirt. Got to keep coming back to it. So the Gosstown crowd is screaming defense. Again, so, Scott, we've got number 88 and number four lined up on one side, that, that far side. Look for a play to be going there. That's where they've got two players bunched in the same over position. Over the middle. But it's not, and it's over the middle. That could have easily been interference, and that's, that's, and a, good, that's a good flag. That is a good flag. He got his arm in there beforehand. That is a good foul. I'm sorry, but yeah, no, I I, I think I'd agree about that one. I think that I think I I think that is a a very uh, not a very good foul, but I think that should have been yeah. flagged. Yeah. So that'll be a pass interference. They say number 24, but I believe that was on on Caden Perry. And reminder that uh, pass interference isn't a spot infraction as it is in the NFL. So that all. So it's not going to be an it's not going to be an automatic first that's down. That's correct. That's because correct. it was such a long third down. So it's going to be a third down and like right. uh, like half half a yard, Scott. NFL that would have been an automatic first down. Yep, because that would have been a spot foul, but it's from the line yeah. of scrimmage. So it's a third and one. They're gonna run the ball again. Yeah, and you've got number thirty Seymour, who's come out and just it, he's run hard all every, game every time, and he goes right over the right hand side is where he's been going most of the time, and that's where they're gonna go, and he keeps rumbling. Well, they better stop him there. I mean, and Matt Dalton, Matt Dalton came in to shut him down there. He tossed so whose side? They're going on. They're going on Belanger's side. Uh, no, I believe that would actually be more like Toby Halpern uh, or Cooper Flanagan's uh, side. They're okay. going to that weak side of the yeah. line. They're go It's like it's in between. No, the I tackle. say that, but I'm it's, saying uh, it's in between the tackle and the guard is no, where they're I'm talking running. about. Defensive end is is Belanger. They swap on that sides. Side. They swap sides. 
It could be it could be okay, Dalton I'm looking or at, I'm Belanger. Looking at Belanger. Right, right, now, right now Belanger yeah. is there. But they run between the tackle and the guard, which is where Cooper Flanagan should be ending up. So we got a first and ten at the thirteen yard line. About four minutes to play. Handoff up the middle, and that's going nowhere. Great play by Jared and Jared Hanault and Zach Bacard, who are both offensive stars, and now they're playing defense. And re a really good play by both of them. So, so you gave me a little bit of an odd look there, Scott. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I, I haven't seen Picard on defense is what I'm thinking. So I haven't seen him on defense all season. Yeah, so it looks like he came in to replace Seth Osborne, who is who is sharing that middle linebacker spot with Ryan Cody. And it looks like he's being replaced by Zach Picard. And is it because of injury or is it like just strategy i'm not sure i'm yeah. trying to look take a peek over okay, so you got single at, at coverage look for that side. slant route again it's right there it's open yeah if i if 13. i'm 13 if i'm coach oh low snap that could be dangerous and it and it's not nice going to help job. them at all good job by hanault comes screaming in and uh great play by hanault again on that one i kind of like I, I don't know like when you get that single coverage and you've got the middle of the field wide open. They've had success on that. Yeah, so Jarrett Hanault plays that roamer position, which can be outside, inside, yeah. whatever. I think if you're coach, you gotta you gotta, you gotta set him up it. no, you gotta set him up on the edge and have him run just the zone coverage off the edge to to bait them into throwing those across those um, over the top passes. So you got trips to the bottom of your screen. This is where they do those uh, crossing routes. Yep. And that's it. And so there, Scott, yeah. Jeremy comes in late. Yeah. But that's because the ball has been touched, and he's not a defenseless receiver because oh, he touches the ball. You're never going to let this go. No, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to let the people on. at, no, at home know. never going to let it go. What I'm is? sorry, that's another song. Yeah, why are you very... And that's not even the right words. In a musical words. mood or I'm something? in a musical mood. It's fourth down and 12. And they're going for it. And I think. they have to go for it. And... For all intents and purposes, if they don't, th this is the, this is their play of the game. I yeah, mean, they have to get in the end. They have to get. I'm sorry, a first down. Kai Colson is. So this is where they got to get a pass rush, which they have not had yeah, a pass and, rush. And we just heard we just heard a call for Matt Dalton to get wide, and oh, looks like there was some friendly fire there as yeah. Zach Picard ended up hitting, I believe, Will Sasso. And, and I heard that one, Scott. Yeah. And that was questionable, I think. I think 13 that, that, for, for uh, Sawyer Bergeron was like, you know, I thought I got interfered with. I, I, that that's one a close call. Yeah, that one could have been called a pass interference. We don't have the luxury of seeing the replay right now because our system is down, but that could have been a pass interference. So that with that, Goff's time will take over on downs. Good job, one. Good job, and, Scott. And <laughs> I'm proud. So Ty, Ty's looking at us, and he's like, what are you talking what about? What are they talking about? At the, at the Central it's, game. Scott didn't know what turnover on downs. No, I meant. know. I know what it <laughs> meant. I just said it inappropriately. Not in a, incorrectly. In, incorrectly. Incorrectly. Yeah. Inappropriately would. All right. So now what are we doing? Are we going to throw the ball from our from our fourteen, or what are we doing here? Well, I mean, you've got you, you did have four offensive linemen come out, so you've got your fifth one. So come what's out the here. what's the play then? I'm not sure. Uh, well, it Lydic with a good block downfield as he came out late. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like he doesn't even know what to do, and then but, all of a sudden he gets a good block. And he, he's yeah. a good block downfield as a pulling go as a pulling tackle. Well, so they're going they're going tempo here. They're going no huddle as the the calls coming in from the sideline. I'd love to see a, a run pass option here, Scott. And it's just there's no option. It's just going to be a pass. And Jonah, ooh, see, I like this that is what move. I, this is what I want to see though, because I think Jonah. On the, in the flat like that, catching those balls is so dangerous. That'll be yeah. a first down for the Grizzlies. Yeah, we, I, I, I bring this up every time. He's a great track athlete, and he's got that speed to go on the outside. Goffstein in the hurry up. And they're going to hand this one off to Zach Picard, who bounces to the outside, and he's keep he keeps rumbling, first and down. he's going to get a first down. Yeah, there's... Yeah, Will... Ka Will, Caden, and uh, and Jonah are all track athletes, and they've all got that speed to help them on the outside. So, so Goffstown is in that quick offense. 
and this quick offense is the same one that left oh my Memorial. God, you cannot stop him. And you, yeah, he's this, going seven yards. This I quick, mean. this quick to the line offense is the same offense that left Memorial jaded last last half, and they just didn't know what to do. As we again, we see their interior defensive linemen running their sprints to the to the uh, sideline. Four number sixty-five. My God, give that man a little O. Oh. Second down and three. Perry in motion. And Jarrett's going to keep it, and he's just going to – he takes that. Oh, nice tackle. Really good run. By 13 for the Crusaders. That was Sawyer Bergeron. If he doesn't make that tackle, he's gone. can go all the way. He had blockers downfield, so, and he made a move. And first and 10, and they're just going to keep going. Less Scott. than a minute here. And Zach's going to keep it, and he's gone. He's, he's, he's gone. He is gone. He's gone. Number three. It's too easy for him. It's too easy. That's a hat trick for Zach Picard. Three touchdowns on the day, all rushing for Zach Picard. And you that just, was a I, 34, so he's well over 100 yards as well. Yeah. Third touchdown. If you had Zach Picard on your New Hampshire high school fantasy football team, you're cashing in the points today. Uh, and then some. It does not look like the coach for Memorial is very happy. Uh, no, because they started off so well. Yeah, um, that, I thought they came down here. They set the they set the stage. Yeah, that first drive was just electric and, from Memorial. Uh, it's it's so, been a total. Change so do of I pace have now. my um, do I have clearance on this thing to? I, I think we can do trivia. I'm not sure if we can get graphics up or anything, but All I, right, I so, think we could do trivia right now, Scott. Okay, so the last one, uh, J.J. Smedic got the trivia question correct on that last question, and that was the uh, which member of the golf team eagled the first hole, and that was Nate Stevens. Yeah. So, uh, so Nate was a four-year Nate was a four-year member of the varsity golf team and has advanced to the D two individual championships, which will be tomorrow at Wyndham Country Club. So here's your next trivia question: Name the two members of this year's volleyball team who were on the state championship girls basketball team from this past winter or last year. Yeah, co-champions there for girls basketball. Yeah, so name the two members of this year's volleyball team who were also on the state championship girls basketball team from this past year. So instead of Zach Picard coming out, we're going to see Ryan Cody in at halfback. And Jarrett's just going to keep it and push the pile, see if he can get in, and it he is. does. It's like... It's, that's, that's like his fourth one. Yeah, yeah it's it's, just, it's like too. Yeah. I said it's too easy for Zach Picard on these two point conversions. It's too easy yeah. for Jared and Alt. And as I said before, um, you know, putting up thirty eight points, uh, I mean, your offense is clicking. Yeah. But the offense didn't really click for a while there, and and even right now, I could say that our passing hasn't been all that crisp. You want to you know, you want to know what I think was the turning point in this game so far? Yeah, the interception Kate, by Caden Perry's Perry. first interception, yeah. Scott. And that, I, mean, I agree with that. That completely shifted momentum. You had that great return on the kickoff, and then boom, well, Goff sounds back on offense. You know, you got some. I mean, we're already we're almost into the fourth quarter, and I can tell you right now that Caden Perry is definitely one of the players of the game. I mean, two interceptions, yeah, a touchdown, it's almost, almost. You know, Zach definitely. Picard. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Cody with the kickoff. I he was he was putting these toe balls deep but into that back corner. You I don't you don't want to do that because again you I saw say, that I say you you send it to number thirty there. Sebo's too dangerous and they say okay good take it at the forty have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. Come again. Yeah, like, forty yard line. We'll just keep doing that after we score right. another couple touchdowns here. We're fine. We're set. There we go. Kick it again. They're gonna choose to kick it again. That's a huffed move. Remember that's all he make them do it all the time. Yeah. Here's the other thing too. You can kick it into the to the first level there. You know, don't kick it deep. Yeah, I also it. like I also like number thirty here, Eric Seymour, who's been solely a power back. I don't know if he has the speed to to return the ball yeah, there. So. I don't think he does either. Or maybe they have one of those plays where they they hand it off. Yeah. A little bit of that razzle dazzle, as Ty just said. Oh. So they, Zach gonna, Picard was almost there. We want to kick it again? Are we no. go, are we going again? No. No, we're not kicking it again. This is great field position. You take it. You take the ball. Let's just keep kicking him. Let's just keep let's just keep doing it. 
So Goffstown survives not having their kicker uh, today. Uh, except for the one ninety yard return. Right, but I think, I tell you, I think what happened there was that Cody kicked the ball to the five yard line, and I think that screwed up their coverage. Block because, set up, and yeah, because they that stuff. they were not used to that. that they're not used to that because really, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, usually Bradley kicks is like maybe the fifteen or twenty yard yeah. line. And you've got players like Aaron Duval who get there super early. So Crusaders take over on their own 49-yard line with 34 seconds left in the third, trailing 38-7. Bubble Butter emotion. Oh, he drops dropped. It. He's lucky he was about a step in front of his quarterback. Well, Flanagan was right there, so fumble. good job by him. That was yeah, it was better to drop it there uh, for Colson. It's starting. It's starting to get a little windy here, and a little Scott. colder. A little, uh, yeah. yeah. We could do a little bit of an. I, I mean, AP environmental science. You could. We could talk about why this wind is happening. It's probably because of the uh, the sun. The sun. Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with it. No, this. It has two. It's a. It's a, a cold front. It's two fronts coming together. Yeah, exactly. Right now. That's what. That's what I was trying to. Come on. Thanks, Scott. I watched. I watch. Uh, what's her name? Uh, the weather, not the weather channel, uh, M-U-R, what's her name? W Haley La, LaPointe, or, right? Yeah. She explains it this morning. Two fronts collide. Yeah, and you've also got pressure involved as well, and when you, when, you, when you get air heating up from the sun that just showed up for like 15 minutes and was super but bright. Why were all those leaves? Those, that was the craziest thing, right? Wind, also wind. Wind, <laughs> wind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what picks up the leaves and blows them around, Scott. That's the end of the third quarter. We'd like to thank our sponsor for the third quarter. Oh, we don't do sponsors, do we? We don't do sponsors, no. Oh. It's a public access station. I don't so know if we can. What? I, no, we did, we did like those weird sponsors. Like so what happens if I said, oh, the game was, Instant you know, the third quarter was sponsored by like the Village Trestle or some of that? What happens? We just say it was not sponsored. There it was, was no, not there's sponsored. No, there's no, there there's no, no sponsor. There's no money. So the, there's no right. money. So speaking of which, I haven't, I... We normally do those kicks for cupcakes, but we couldn't do that. Yeah. And um, I know that um, the Blue Moose, they, he's asking me, he goes, you need uh, you need cupcakes? Because he donates them uh, for the uh, kick for I cupcakes. I need cupcakes? You should have said yes. Come on. Yeah, I know. But we don't, we're don't. we not doing that this year because of COVID, that darn COVID. So 38-7. And this game, I was really nervous. You know that. I mean, you heard it in my voice in that first quarter. Because yeah, that I think, first drive. I think Memorial just, like, they just had all the momentum in the world. And you're right. That Caden Perry interception was the play that turned things around. Yeah, that – that, so this is – I don't know why Memorial is getting so loud. They're on offense. You're, you want your offense yeah. to be set. So it's a third a and ten at their own 38-yard line. 48. A 48, I mean. And that's Deep a, out route, but. That's a good ball. That's, a, that, that's the first completed out route, and, and he wasn't gonna, going that, out to the sideline. That's line. shy, I think. That's like, yeah, that's like a that's yard like a, a half, shy. A, maybe a half yard shy. Scott, if you're throwing an out route towards the sideline, you never want to float one. I know. You don't want to float one. Measurement. measurement. We're going to get the chain gang in here. I believe we've got uh, Mr. Cody, Mr. Cody, and Mr. Capos. I believe Cody, and, the law firm of Cody and Capos, is coming out with the chains. I don't think they're they're bar certified. They're not in the, I, on I, the bar. I don't. I don't think so. So let's see. Let's see. We're gonna. Uh, it should see be. If we can I, get I, the I, best. Thought it, I thought it was gonna be shy. It myself, should be shy. But, but they're not. He's, he's got it. Wow. That's an. I. I hmm. A little bit of geometry there, Scott. I guess we were just looking at it from the think, wrong angle. I don't think I don't think Mr. Cody or Mr. Capos were thinking they'd have to run across no. the field like this. This is like this is almost like a track meet for them. So the ball will be placed at the Gosstown 42-yard line under 12 minutes. Well, 11:39 in the fourth. Josevic in the shotgun. Play action. That's pass. A, that should be picked. Caught. Really Caught good. by number 13. Really good reception. Sawyer Bergeron. That should have been a pick, I thought. That should have been a pick six. 
But Bergeron was very excited. He got up. He gave the first down signal. I think even again, with even down 38-7, 31, 31 even points. down thirty-one points, he's still happy, and that's all you can ask for. That was a nice grab, by the way, by Bergeron. I yeah, thought. really good. It's, it was, they threaded the needle. They threaded the needle and just completed that almost perfectly. Same formation. And it's a run up the middle. And, and Seymour just keeps plowing and then gets sent back quickly. And he got corralled by number 52, Dalton, who grabbed his jersey. Dalton is like must rip a ton of jerseys, I think, because he's just always... Uh, Seems like he's grabbing somebody and holding on for dear life. Sometimes he throws them down. So we got a, a second and four for Memorial. Ball's on the 23-yard line. Colson in at running back, and that one's... Uh, he that, dropped it. Yeah, that hit the ground a couple times. So Hanault was coming in on the blitz. Yeah, really good. Sa safety blitz. Heads up play. We yeah. see he's got, he knows what to do with that ball, so... Great play by Hanalt. That was a almost a good throw there. Almost, he almost had him. It's a tough throw because I think if Hanalt was not coming in on that one, I think he would have he would have completed it. So 10-17 left here for the fourth quarter, and uh, Goffstown has done. I think it's now what 38 unanswered points, Scott. Yeah, um, and I think even. <laughs> more incredible is if you look at the number of players that Goffstown is not on the field today. Yeah, you've got... That's, that's, the, uh, that's the untold story. I mean, you've got players like Aaron Duvall and and Peyton Strickland who are just great players on either side of the ball. And then you've also got Antonio Long Capos. throw! Gets that's going to be intercepted. Him. Sasso! Sasso with the interception! Great play on that jump ball by Sasso to get in front of Bergeron who just had that really good reception. And that's going to be a touch back, I believe. Yeah. So the junior class performed today. Yeah. I mean, think about it, right? Will Sasso, I think he's a junior. Yep. Caden Perry's a junior. Yep. Uh, you've also got you've also got uh, the the upper the, uh, the rest of the upper class. Yeah. You've got Jarrett Hinault and Zach Picard, who have both played really good, both seniors. And then you've got and Jeremy Hinault as yep. well, who's who's played really no, good. Great. Uh, I think this is this is what you get when you have. A team laden with juniors and seniors. You get that leadership. So they will start off in the 20-yard line. Look for Goffstown to run the ball a lot here with a 31-point lead. We're hearing a defensive chant from uh, from Memorial sideline. Again, somebody's got to remind them there's a 31-point deficit. Yeah, but I don't. I, I like that though in a way because I think it shows that they're a team. Remember yeah. that one play was a little bit of a yeah miscue by one player, and the, the team went over and gave the guy a pat on the back saying, "Don't worry about it." Yeah. So you know what? This is the this is the most success this team has had in years. I think they deserve to have good spirits. Yeah, of course, of course. And another run by Picard. This could be trouble. Look at him. He could be gone, Scott, but it, oh. he almost tight ropes the sideline. So we do have a correct answer on the volleyball question. Yeah, so it'd be And the correct answer comes from Lily Green. Lily Green, oh. Right. Yeah, she 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 was also on that basketball team, Scott. Yeah, so uh Lily Green with the answer. Everybody I'm not sure if we're showing the graphics, so I will We'll just we'll just say it here, Scott. It was uh it was Molly Strong and Ava Winterburn who both Hanault up the middle. He makes a move. Wow. Ooh. Great move by Jared Hanault to get out of that first tackle. Then gets met by two Memorial players. But doesn't matter. That's a first down for Goffstown, and they're rolling. Once again, they're rolling. So Jarrett's set back in the shotgun, and he's going to hand it off to Picard, who's going to lunge forward for... I'd say about six yards there, Scott. Yeah. He's got, I swear, Zach Picard has some some way to gain like an extra at least two yards every play. He can like dive out or he could like break a tackle and bump to the outside. 
He's going to get it again, and oh my God. he's got look, it to the outside. Look, look at Lopez. I mean, Lopez, Lo Lopez held the block for the almost forever, the entire time. For like 10 seconds, it yeah. seemed like an eternity. And he, he allowed that first down to happen. So Sebo was there for the tackle. It's a 12-yard line here for the on the Crusaders' 12-yard line, rather. Scoffstown's got a first and 10 to go to the two-yard line. That's a great tackle. That's a really good tackle. Yeah. Especially when you've got somebody like Zach Picard who just who just goes. you got to get him low. you got to stop him yeah, was where a, that happens. That was a Connors and Calabro, and I like, you know, good sportsmanship by Calabro picking uh, Picard off the deck. Yeah. Now you're going to see Ryan Cody come in, and in absence of Uzi and Poyo, who I don't believe is playing today, and again, really good run stuff there from Memorial, something that they haven't seen all day. Number 55, right? Uh, I believe that was 65. 65? Yeah. All right. 65, that would be Josh Jahanet, The thing sophomore is, sophomore with the tackle. The thing is, though, that's a sophomore, Scott? Yeah, he's a sophomore. That's a sophomore? That's what it says in the sheet. Wow. That's a big sophomore. That's a, bi that's a big body anywhere. So you got Flanagan in the backfield with Cody. He's flying is playing like almost like a fullback type of position, and he runs a little nice out route, and that's interception. Be off. And Cooper, good tackle. He read him on that one. Yeah, he that was telegraphed he read his eyes. there by, yeah. by Jarrett. So Hinault. you don't see that that often. And uh, great job by the Crusaders. Yeah, he made one read and one read only there, and just turnover. You're up by 31. I wouldn't stress it too much, but you, you do want to correct your mistakes if you're golf down here. You've been almost perfect. I think on that one, like he he knew he was going there, and his eyes, everything showed that he was going there. And I think it was a Calabro who broke on that. I think it was Calabro who I had so. that who broke on the ball. Great play. And that's what I like about what the Crusaders are doing is that they're not giving up. I know they're down by thirty one points, but there's no give up in this team. Yeah. That's good coaching. And back at the back at the ten yard line here for the Memorial Crusaders, and that oh. that's a fumble. That's a fumble, Scott, and that's going to be yeah. a touchdown for Toby Halpern. Toby Halpern, a touchdown His for Toby Halpern, and that's going to be Al Halpern Al calling Halpern that from the PA booth. It. Al Halpern calling the that's fumble a, recovery for his son, Toby. That, that's a proud dad moment yeah. right there if I'd ever seen one. And Toby with an incredible heads-up play. Great play by Toby to scoop that one up and do the ye old yeah, scoop and score. Coaching staff is smiling here. Uh, Toby's a hard worker um, and has really, when you think about how much weight in terms of he's given up and on, he's, on these guys. he's improved greatly Yeah, he's year, still, he spent a ton of time in the weight room. So uh, well deserved for Toby Halper. Congratulations. Different different back coming out here for Goffstown. That's going to be Cody. I don't think we're going to see too much of Picard anymore. It, it makes no sense to do that. Yeah, you know, give just, him a rest. Just give him you, some you rest. You also had him on defense for a little while. Exactly. And Hanault's going to keep it, and like he's done so well already. Yeah, <laughs> he was almost carried into the end it's zone the there same, by Halper. It's the same play. It it works. It just works, Scott. It just works. Uh, this has been a great game for Goffstown, Scott. Um, I'd say no. No? No. No? No. No. I mean, it's a great game on the scoreboard. I think if you're a coach, I wouldn't say, you know, you've had some you know, some good plays here and there, but I think that there was, in my opinion, there was, there could have been better execution. And I've seen, like, in the Bedford game, first game of the season, they executed, I thought, you know, pretty well. Yeah, other than the, the, the miscues and stuff that happened early in the yeah. first game first half yeah. like first quarter you you chop the first quarter off of this yeah. this is a near perfect game by Goffstown. all right well I give them, i'm giving them a b plus a minus today a 90 a 90 a 90 90 i'm giving them a 90 out of 100 today a but 90. i'll tell you something coach hammond he's he's i think he's the same way as i think the way i think is that he he always is looking for hey how do we improve definitely um I think there's always room for improvement in high school football. Yeah, but I think that it would be it would be an understatement when you talk about Uzi was not playing today, Duval didn't play, Strickland didn't play, so many guys that 
are part of their starting. So we're going to see that deep kick and the opportunity here for Memorial is going to happen. Yeah, but Ooh, watch out. Ooh. Tackled late there yeah. by one of the Barry brothers. Yeah. Nick Barry. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, there's Owen and Nick. Owen was the, the running uh, back. Yeah, the uh, the sideline on that is your friend. Yes, definitely. Especially when you when you force a returner to one of the sides. Yeah, it's hard to uh, tiptoe that sideline. Well, that's what happened when he broke it free. Was that he went right up the middle? Right up the gut. Right up the gut. So we've got some some new players well, coming you in you here. For you don't have soon. enough players at one point. Handoff. Almost. It was juggled there a little bit by Memorial. Fumble. And it's fumble. a fumble. It is a fumble. Goffstown, I think, has it. Yeah. Nope. Memorial. Oh, heads I'm corrected. Up, heads up play. Number 79. Great job. Yeah. That would be Sebastian Botella. Because there was, there was four Grizzlies, and, and Sebastian was the only one there. In a white jersey. And uh, give him credit. He was able to get it. Second and five. So you're seeing different players for Goffstown. Uh, linebacker, I think we got. See, I saw Beard in there. Tyler Denton is out there at linebacker. Quick slant there. And that's going to be a first down. Yeah, chains think, are going to move. I think Denton was on that ta tackle. So we're, we're in running time now, Scott. And I think we have been for a little bit. But yeah. some new players again. We've got Cam Hyzak. Uh, Will Patino, Owen Berry, Maddox Harden, Matt Beard, um, and Schaefer as well, who we've seen on punt on the punt return team. Cam Hyzak coming in on a blitz and So we hear some, some words coming over from our side of the sideline up yeah. here by the booth. Yeah, he's basically telling Cam Hyzak if there's only one receiver to, to one side, then he's got a blitz. Yeah, I know I know Cam Hyzak. I don't know if he I don't know if he played uh, like youth football or anything. I this may be his first time playing football, so he did play junior grizzlies apparently, but he's also a very, just a very athletic kid. He's he's got some really he's really well versed. Up the middle. And Owen Barry with a great tackle wow. coming from the safety position. Got to like that play. And Seymour, Seymour, who's just been powering through even the first stringers for the Grizzlies. Owen Barry, that was a great tackle. Great open field tackle. Yeah. Why is the clock stopping? Oh, it had stopped for a second there. That's that's what happens is like for a second you stay at the same number and then the next second it changes to a different number. Yeah, maybe stop. it's the scoreboard here is not that great. Huh? I wonder who has the opportunity to do something about do that? something about that. Nice play by JJ Josevic. He picked up probably a good. Uh, uh, 12, 13 yards in that run. Even if you're down here by whatever it is, 30, 39 points, I don't know if I'd keep my starting starting quarterback out there. I would agree. I'm with you. I'm with you on that one because you got to live it for another day. Yeah. there's It's play in for playoffs, and they're, they're in the playoffs no matter what, Scott. So Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. And, and yeah, gonna we be are going to see. We are going to see number five, Braden Hafeman, come in. This is going to be a tough, you earlier. know, postseason too, because with COVID the way that it's going, teams like Pinkerton automatically out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, schools have had to close for a week or two. Yeah. Um, so who knows what the postseason is going to look like? If there would, even if there will be one that's extended. Big hole. Seymour, that time, Barry doesn't get a good tackle on him, but he does get wrapped up eventually. I believe that's Schaefer who is there. Beard but keep in mind, too, well. that they've, they've got their first stringer still in. Yeah. And Goffstown has their has their second string, third mm -hmm. string in right now. So Se I think Seymour is actually the only player out there who started this okay. game. Um, but he was playing that. Except for the quarterback. That No, the quarterback came out. We've okay. got, got Haifman in. Okay. Um, 
he's the only player, but they have the running back by committee, as you've also got Kai Colson yeah. who plays there too. Bad snap, but he should, run it. he should run it. Wow, this could be a good throw, and no, that's out of bounds. Oh, close. Really good throw on the run, though. Uh, you got to give give credit to him there. Is really good throw on the run. So you think uh, Toby Halpern will go to Dairy Queen or something after the game? Dad will say, hey, Toby, let's celebrate, or what I'd, do you think? I'd say so. It was a, it was a good heads-up yeah. play, and he's been playing pretty well all we season. We just don't know. It's like, is Al that type of guy? I mean, is he like a loving father who would take his son I'm not sure to, about that one, to Dairy Queen? And then does Gabby go with, with them? That's the big question. I don't know. Or is it just like, hey, listen, you know, we got to yeah, give Toby a, his due. You're a manager. Like Toby scored a touchdown. Like, is that is that factored in? I don't know. I think maybe they both celebrate. We're just picking on Al. Al does a really great job here. He's the public address announcer for the Grizzlies and uh, does a phenomenal job. Not only does he do football, but he does basketball. He does other sports. Yeah. And uh, great for the Grizzly experience. Under 50 seconds to play, third and six. Here comes a blitz, picked up though, nicely. Really good pass pro from Eric Seymour there. As oh, Isaac, he beats him. That's going to be a touchdown. No, it's not. It is. I think he was stopped short. I think he got in there. They are he got calling. in there. He got in there. I stand corrected. So he broke containment. And who's that, Halfman? Is that his name? Hafman. 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 I apologize. So they'll be going for two here. Seymour in the backfield. Yeah, Seymour's been really good so far today. Is fumble. Fumble, and Isaac right. with the sack. And after the sack from Isaac, I'd expect to see him come out and take a knee for Goss Yeah, Town. I would too, yeah. So, uh, like you said, uh, a really strong performance by the Grizzlies after a tough first period where Memorial came out super strong. And give credit to uh, Caden Perry, uh, who clearly – is one of our players at the game. Yeah, I think he takes he takes the crown. I think we could just say player of the game, possibly. Scott. Well, Picard. Picard. I mean, three Picard. touchdowns. Uh, you know, even Hanault. I mean, he put he probably threw close to 200 yards. Uh, rush like for that. so many. And I then, mean, we're not keeping the stats. Like, but. if you if you went points here, I think there was only one two-point conversion yeah. where he didn't convert. And who could forget Toby Halpern here, Toby right? Toby Halpern first, with first ever career yeah. touchdown. I mean, you don't get those too much uh, from a defensive position yeah especially the one that he's playing scott and uh how about Ro ryan cody for stepping up kicking the ball yeah um For unfortunately you, you gave him a little bit of time to set up but it, they rallied they, they actually after that 90 yard reset yeah. 90 yard return they got that pick by uh caden perry so it ended up working out in golf sounds favor now, do you, quite easily you should get an onside kick here right probably a squib kick i'd, I'd expect to see something short um, I don't. I don't expect to see so Pat No or, so or Danny Leclaire is up there. Kick it right to Danny Leclaire, who's oh. moving. He's moving around. I kick it right to Danny Leclaire, right in front of you. From from what I'm hearing from the sideline, it looks like they're going to kick it deep. Nope, it's not. Got to jump on it. And he does. Yeah, really, really good recovery there by number 59. Unfortunately, I don't have him on my roster, so. Oh. Either can't, do I. Hold on a second. Can't give credit. We're trying to get the uh, the coaches that are down next to us. 59 is a freshman Bondo, I guess. That's we asked one of the coaches. So. Oh. All right. Well, credit to him. He he, he jumped on that ball we, quite we easily. We want to give him credit. We just don't have him on our on our roster. Yeah. So. so if, your par if if parents are watching at home or grandparents are watching at home, it is it. That's a. I guess rolling clock just goes through here as it looks like time is going to expire here. So we're going to go three, two, one. And that'll do it. Great game by the Grizzlies well, Broden, here. Uh, and thank again. you, everyone, for tuning in for the last regular season game.
So we're on to the playoffs here for Goffstown. We want to thank Ty Alex, Ty. I almost said Alex. Why did I say Alexander? Gallagher. For? Gallagher. I, Gallagher. I don't know why I said that. So, He's been here for a while. I know Come that. On, I screwed it up. Uh, we'd but, also uh, like to thank uh, Aiden Pena Aiden, for coming out Aiden, as well. Adam um, McCune. Adam McCune and Dave, Dave Steffen. Steffen. Everyone that's everyone that's helped and a uh, little bit of a technical difficulty day, but we got over it. And so uh, stay thank you tuned everyone for to, tuning for, in. Look, check out Broden. What's your uh, what do you got like? Uh, you got like an Instagram yeah, page? Yeah, GTV dot sports. That's where we post all of our sports updates on Instagram. All right. So as soon as we know what playoff position things look like, where games will be, we'll post it. You'll post that. It'll be yeah. on GTV as well. And uh, yeah. we hope we hope that we'll be going live from wherever Goffstown is playing. Yeah. That's our hope. And we'll also see a little bit more info come out from the school's page, the Grizz fan right, base. Right, 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 right. Um, so, yeah, just stay tuned, folks. Uh, we'll have we'll have a updated playoff picture coming soon as we get the results from all the games that are happening today and happened yesterday. So thank you for tuning in. I'm Brendan McKeown, joined by Scott Gross. Stay hydrated and uh, have a good night. <laughs>